We no longer have a, 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 a obesity problem in America. We now have a DMT fentanyl serum Marvel comic shot. Uh, the goddamn grown where ain't the leaves ain't four leaves at and things of that. Now we got well, something else wrong society now. There's something wrong. Something wrong society. And there's a little bit of too many people out here who got open access to, you know, what's wrong to society. Real good music, though. You know what I'm saying? Real good music and stuff. Like, oh, I'm saying real good, talented young men, though. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much for the, uh, the uh, cash shot. Be the all. Oh, I appreciate that for my heart. Real stuff. Real good, talented. You know what I'm saying? Real good, talented, minded young men, though. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, the, uh, it might be a little bit of too many double, triple cups on it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we just need one. When you see about three or four style phones on it, something about there. Y'all you know say real good music in the studio. Y'all you know say real good, nice young men. Y'all you know say real shit, talented young men. Oh. You might become grandpa a little early. Y'all you know say really, even if you ain't got no kids. 
somebody thought you were somebody's grandpa. You know, so somebody, somebody thought you were somebody's oh, and crackhead or uncle living in somebody's goddamn sister, taking all the goddamn nieces and nephews, last Capri sons, and a goddamn Vienna sausage can of big ball of salt. You know, I said real shit, big pack of goddamn ramen noodle cans and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You're 19 years old. Oh, man, man. Oh, man, man. Should be 19. Oh, I'm saying I'm looking like that. You know what I'm saying? She shouldn't be nowhere. Like, God damn it. I, I'm really giving the benefit of the doubt. Really, because you shouldn't be 27, 28 looking like that and things of that nature. But we're trying to give the benefit of the doubt. We're trying to say it's society right now. We're trying to say it's like stuff shadow government might be doing right now. You know so we're trying to like blame it on other things and stuff. So, you know, hopefully everybody get back on track and be like, yeah, it wasn't my fault. They wake up out of their slumber, but eventually, you know, once time and time go on, motherfucker just in their own shit. Really can't blame no motherfucking body. But yeah, that's man, we just talk we talk a shit the full 12 minutes here. Talk shit portion. Talk shit portion. Oh man. man. Brought to you live uh, by Dunkin' Donuts, Pumpkin Spice, and on new season. Oh man. I know this must be a troll clicking the link because we only six minutes in. Hold on, wait. You are to wait to 12 minutes. That's against the law. So you must be a person that just want to show your face. Now you're making me think now. Now I got to make decisions in my, my own mind. Now, if you're going to be the first person I click on at all or anything of that, now I got to really think because now I got to start thinking about your morality, your judgment, what ego you in. With ego, I got to be in to feel comfortable with it. Y'all you know saying so no fart cloud come out in the middle. Of it. I, it's a lot of things I got. I can't think about it no more. You might not get clicked. I got to see my mind at when we get to 12 minutes. Oh, I got to see my mind at. I see my mind that when we get to 12 minutes, other than that, wait to 12 minutes hit and click links and all that stuff. Get real foul in your back pocket. Oh, shit. Order the goddamn court of law. Oh, I said real shit. I'll have some goddamn order on this channel. Real shit. Goddamn order. We don't live in chaos. Uh, so we don't live in genocide. Wherever we can find, there's forms of fart cloud, genocide, chaos, you know, and animosity, mortal combat, my animality, energies, loss of zodiac, animal will, shit. Y'all you know said order must be rectified. Order must be rectified. Real shit. Other than that, 12 minutes and here's the full cycle of the minute micro version of the uh, moon phases and my eye, a high noon, a noon, and 12 minutes of the Aries through Pisces energy got to be formulated first. You know what I'm saying? Therefore, we have our mind constructed. Everything would be a foundation. We had a basis down, the layering down, and we could put each block down. We ain't got to start with putting no stone on the corner. Why we got to put the stone on the corner? Man, I'm tired of living in the hood, and every time I go to the corner store to see crackheads, uh, sometimes I got a second think, like, do I even want to go to that gas station today and shit like that? Because sometimes I don't feel like being asked for shit. Uh, I said sometimes it's just purely on the basis that at I'm, I'm going to go to the two gas stations above on the next street. Uh, I said, how about that one? How about that? How about that? You know what I'm saying? So I start thinking about, I blame the Jews. I blame the Jesuits. You know what I'm saying? I got to blame all of them for that. I start to blame the Masons and stuff for any fart cloud I see in the world. You can't start talking about online getting happy feet like a Disney movie and shit with your doctor and doc line, jawline face and stuff. And we want to get happy to teach now and be like, oh, yeah, everybody, this what the cornerstone mean. Now, now we know what it means. We don't give a fuck about it no more. You should have taught us it when we like was mystic about it and like all lost in la la land about it. Maybe we would have cared. It's too late now. So as we hear anything about cornerstone or whatever like that, oh, it's witchcraft because we got corner stores and liquor stores on every corner. Oh, it's witch. You know what I'm saying? So it's too late now. We got too woke up now. It's too late. You should have did it when you got a chance. Don't talk about our humans. I can give a fuck about a cornerstone now. Now I want to make another stone. I want to make a kind of cornerstone now. Now I want to make a front porch stone first. You know what I'm saying? See what y'all did? Y'all could have still had the whole world wanting to build cornerstones and shit, but look at our generational curses. Well, look what we got to identify with when we go outside. Corner stores. You got the gang. Look, we can't even go there and see somebody who live in our city and state getting running that store. We can't even see that shit. 
somebody from a whole slipper land fucking geographical location could come over here and get way more money, way more free checks than motherfuckers who didn't was fucking the shit out of somebody and got was born on geographical location here. Oh, saying right out of the goddamn dirt and soil and thin air here and shit like that. But you go to the motherfucking corner store and you see some goddamn mac, smack monkey from goddamn Africa bloodline sigil system Somalian head. Oh, sad real shit. And you gotta put your ass, you gotta think about it. Damn, do I gotta what's going on? This is my life. Jesus Christ, all my life. I had to fight. Oh, fall that ass spirit. I blame the Masons. I don't know that. Don't say nothing else about no goddamn cornerstone. Make another one first. That one ain't work. Oh, Sam, my grandma ain't see Jesus walk on water. Yeah, oh, Sam, her, the thing she voted for, she ain't see that shit happen. Oh, shit, I'm like generations down the line. I still ain't seen what she voted for happen yet. God damn it, we about five, six, nine presidents down the line. Y'all motherfuckers full of shit. Don't talk about no quarter stone no more. Oh, Sam, oh, shit, that shit don't work. That shit don't work. Don't fuck that ass witchcraft. I'm talking about that shit no more. If all it's good for is making corner stores and liquor stores on every corner next door to the church, I'm, I'm cool on that deal. I'm cool on all that witchcraft. I don't hear nothing else. Nothing else about no damn corner, nothing. Not, no stone, no brick pillar, no like, goddamn waterfront, no jawline, no smack monkey frogger face, and Muppet Baby and goddamn the Sun Man off goddamn Teletubbies. Oh, sell big ass baby Masonic Mason. Childish ass spirit. Real shit. I'm about tired of this shit. I don't know why y'all can't go outside. That's what I'm saying. They trying to get happy right now because we all woke now. We all getting back to that real golly version of we are the world. We are. They just look left out in that version. So like, like right now, they're like, hey, hold on. Wait, guys, look. What about this? This what I look. Look, this what Illuminati mean now. Look, look. Get that shit off. Get that shit off line. Get your happy ass off line. I was saying real shit. That shit ain't shit now. You're real here. Nobody care about the Aluta, Alutanami, Alutadabi. Bitch, you got Uriel here. Oh, big old rainbow. Oh, Uriel. Who needs an astrophysicist? Who need Alutanami? Who need that? Oh, I'm saying old total recall. Roman retards. Well, oh, I'm saying. I still love Easter baby. Oh, Jawline kneecap neck. Real shit to my hey y'all look just what the philosopher stone mean now y'all look no, it's too late i seen that in too many video games that got me rocked to sleep and had nightmares after i played the game no too late too late now nah, i know all that shit oh too late you should have taught us it when it was cool you should have taught us it when we was rocked to sleep you know what i'm saying we were still asleep with newspaper because grandmother was like look this show zodiac right here and grandmother had the news book the newspaper versus or the other thing you had to chance then you could have threw all the little NASA new planets, asteroids, get ready to crash, and Jesus has got something to do with that energy. You could have threw all that in the newspapers. It's too late. We didn't get online, got together, start figuring each other out and stuff like that, start finding God, start creating communities. It's too late. Y'all just fucked up. Stop talking about stones and shit that don't work. Real shit, if that shit would have worked, we wouldn't have no goddamn liquor store in every goddamn corner store. The corner. Real shit. What's going down? What's good, Dolo? Shit, same old, same old. And shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, getting rearranging circumstances and shit like that. Yeah, you, uh, yeah, you rock. You can't be washed up under the current too, man. You gotta be out here riding these transits and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Let the universe shape you and then all that. But what's going down? Yeah, I keep up with the updates. I know, but I got a quick question. Um, how do you know if, or yeah, how do you know if someone is practicing witchcraft on you? Uh, shit. By by sizing up their intellectual energy. If a person dumb as hell, don't even give them that credit because you might be smarter than them. Give them that power and then they might start, they pile the senses and start tingling and they might not know it's witchcraft, but they start doing things that cater to the energy you give them, which ultimately they'll be doing witchcraft. You giving them power and then now you can create a monster. 
now this individual doing witchcraft on you without even thinking about it like that in their mind. In their mind, they just got affecting you in certain ways and getting wet with their ego inside of it. I'm mean, inside of themselves off of it. So, yeah, make sure you ain't creating no monsters and stuff. But nine times out of ten, if you're around retar more retarded people uh, than you, they ain't got no power of witchcraft. So don't even waste time giving any amount of seconds because the more energy of seconds and minutes that you give to thinking and feeling that they got that capability. But in actual reality, in a solid world, God showing you many confirmations that this person is a retard, then you're refusing to listen to God getting lost in the universe, giving your power away to a person. And then once they spirit pilot senses start tingling, you might end up creating a monster. Then they end up doing witchcraft on you. So first size it up like that. Now, if you do got some intelligent individuals around you, like, you know, like, okay, this person good at manipulating or something like that. Cause that's ultimately what it is. Then that's when you do, you need to start practicing uh, protection spells. But how would you know is if this person end up being on your mind at times, you ain't even trying to have them on your mind. Cause we're all connected. That mean they're throwing a lot of, things at you because when they're alone or with others you're on their mind but in a negative way so when they steer that negative energy towards you if you care enough to accept it you will allow the same amount of time as seconds and minutes to absorb that and accept it and then once you start to like live to try to prove or not have this person think like something or something like that boom you up under witchcraft you up under voodoo for me i usually just act like if uh so you got all the answers then. Hell yeah. If, no, I just, if I don't believe in it, it don't happen to me. And if, right. it, if it happens to me, I'll allow it. But Right. Because like, with these things, people explaining all the way down to the Masons, people fail to realize it's things we do every day. They're just centering down on it and creating characters and anthropomorphizing and spookism behind it. But it's, it'd be things we do every day. For an example, let on a surface level, this how a person do it just by life hitting them. You could be getting a troll or a bully or something like that. And the more you don't feed that energy, the more they go away and start to try to be a vampire to someone else who's opening themselves up to that energy. We practice these things every day, but that's basically what it is. Now, when you know what you're doing, that's when you become a bad motherfucker, though. That's the kicker right there. That's the kicker. No, I just feel like... <clears throat> Cause it's like, don't, it's like if, if, if a person bothering you and you don't believe it no more, you're not feeding the energy no more, they go away. So when you think about it from a witchcraft perspective, when you don't believe whatever you claim that they're throwing at you, that's how I go away there too. We have to, we, we always have to agree to terms and conditions to allow anything in our life. The moment we built boundaries, even if we express it in a solid world and show motherfuckers that, yeah, you better not cross this line because you know how I am and you know how I think. The more that we know how to protect our spirit, so any weapon formed against us will uh wouldn't prosper anyway. I see it as like life is just temporary, and like um, there's a higher force that would punish people if they. Nah, nah, ain't, you gotta be the one punishing punish. though. But wait, wait. <laughs> ain't no if higher somebody... force like that. <laughs> if somebody that that's just wishes... that's just people living in their own world. But when we start making sense out of everything, you you got to make sense out of. Why do people complain about the government and stuff like that? We can't we can't be in our own mind and be like, yeah, God, gonna, God going to get these people that's affecting us personally. But when we start having conversations about the government and stuff like that, uh, ain't no God never getting them. So we got to get rid of that whole that whole concept that there's a God that's going to punish people beyond our will. No, that's I narcissism. Don't that. I don't mean that. I'm saying if somebody wishes ill will on others and practices witchcraft, they get that others. energy back. So if they yeah, know what they were doing, if yeah, if they know what they were doing, they get it back. So that's that's the get back energy. That's a higher force. That's what I'm saying. Not necessarily the, the uh, witchcraft is knowing what you're doing. So your karma come back not as not yeah. as much. That's what the government doing. But yeah, my bad. Go ahead. Yeah, the government uh, portrays it in the movie, so they act like that's uh, justifying the karma, but. We just believe in whatever they're portraying and as long as we change how we believe about things. Shit change. Right. And that's All the way down to these generational curses. The shadow yeah. government witchcraft is so cold, they made people identify with generational curses all the way down to making people b believe they have to blame themselves and their God is punishing them for these reasons. So a person could purely be put in a construct based on humans and been and forced to believe that it's their own fault why they in it. 
and blame it on that and, and blame it on that God. And so they, they don't ever have to reach a large percentage level of karma of the damage energies that they put people in. They even believe in a mind. They put themselves in that situation and the God and they God they worship, put them there for a reason. So it's like the people like, damn, oh, the shadow government like, damn, this witchcraft cold we got going on right now. It's cold. That's like being on autopilot. So like, right. Uh, right. Living Jesus life, took the nothing. goddamn spaceship well. I do. That, that's all, man. Thank you. Man. Shout out to Yanny. Oh shit! Yeah, like that. They so they ain't even really got. They like, damn. We not. We don't even got to feel guilty. These people feel guilty themselves. What we who we did to them. They felt guilty by themselves. Shit. And shit. They just aren't looking at the mechanisms of the universe, and the universe ain't a respect of persons. So ain't no god gonna come show you how they're going to punish somebody else that got something going on and shit like that. It's only a respect or teamworks. So the witchcraft is knowing how the thing work. So you can manipulate it then at that point. So you can almost manipulate your karma and shit and get out of such cycles and circumstances and shit and, and have to deal with it later at a smaller problem wise, a smaller issue wise and shit. All right. What's going down? What's going down? Oh, yeah, we, we can't light like, on camera like that. What's going down? Hey, yo, uh, I just watched your video about, like, how to look at yourself as a spirit. And, like, it really resonated. And I was just wondering if you knew how to take, like, like the first step into that, like, like Man, the video is the deepest it already can be. If you need it to be deeper, that's you trying to make make up stuff after it. Whatever I said in the video, though, that's basically how you do it. But you're not going to see your spirit like a solid one, two, and third dimension, how you're looking at yourself in the third dimension as a person. These are right. different worlds, but they're all intertwined. So how you see that? ain't basically seeing how we describe it in the one, two, and third dimension. But the one, two, and third dimension we use words to describe that. So it's like seeing, but what we think we're using in a one, two, and third dimension to create that word seeing is an illusion. It's just a realm of reality we're in. So it's based upon just having a vision. That's a concept of seeing. Having a perception and awareness. That's a concept of seeing. These days may not actually be light, but it's a visualization. So you could image, you could have an image in your mind how you see yourself. That may not even be this kind of form. It could be an atmosphere, a, a beautiful vibe and atmosphere and, and, and a good space and surrounding and things of that nature. And then play out the characteristics in your mind because it is the thoughts and feelings going to be good to you as a spirit doing that ritual, thinking that, OK, this world, I like it and things of that nature. That will be an image you create to represent your spirit because we're creating a mind to represent our spirit, which makes it an individual soul. So we got a mind that and we got a soul and then that mind bend in on itself and creates a body. And the soul is just the observer. So you need to observe how you see yourself beyond these type of features and human like everybody else want to be lost in because they got the failure in their mind somewhere. And then whatever form you create, especially it's going to be better than someone else's because you're in this type of spiritual space, then that's going to be the image of your spirit. And you could come in the image of that and show people how to be like it so they can stop being likings in the world and werewolves and things of that nature. Right. And, and what about like when you're among like normal, like situations, like, are you supposed to not do that? Or are you supposed to like, are you supposed to like dumb yourself down or like be a part of it? Or I, I, I wouldn't even make it no mission. I just make it part of my life, but I right. wouldn't make it no tool or no mission or something like that. Like I like it's something I got to do when I'm experiencing the situation. Th those things right there is like a person dealing with insecurities or fears or something like that. Those totally separate. You right. need to take care of those. So you can always have more time throughout the day where your mind could think about regular stuff other than good ideas of how to not experience something like insecurities or fear or reactions from people that those are low vibrational things that people use spiritual words and get into spirituality for, but that's technically not what spirituality for. Those are things that you really supposed to live your life, get those over with. And those experiences teach you everything I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? Instead of using yeah. what I'm talking about 
as a tool to protect yourself from going through experiences. But we all got to go through experiences. And the hardest ones is the best ones to go through. Right. Okay, yo, thank you. Appreciate that. Yep, shout out uh, to uh, Tafa, real shit. Yes, that, that's what we got to understand with uh, spirituality for. Spirituality is for once you are ready, tough. Now you're ready for the mission. Not spirit, Spirituality is not for finding tools and things of that nature to protect yourself from not doing something so you can sit around somewhere and feel good all day and think good. All, that's not spirituality. That's narcissism. That's trying to have things go your way. That's you not that's you wanting life to be easy. That's you wanting things to go smoothly for you in areas where you've seen examples that didn't go as smoothly for others and things of that nature. All of that is demonic. That's devilish. That's not that's human shit. That's demonic shit. That ain't nothing to do with spirituality or nothing. God can give a fuck about any of those thoughts, any of those type of feelings or actions. I'm a, I'm a old boy now, but I, I homeboy was lighting like a pipe or something like that. I, don't, I can't light nothing like that on live. What's that? Real shit. But uh, yay. Yeah, spiritual out. Uh, so, but fake woke people who are already damaged. These individuals come up with allegories like that. That's where those kind of uh. Now I, I ain't speaking about homeboy. If y'all think so, now I'm just teaching right now. But I'm speaking like online and content creators and things of that nature. You know, individuals who come from the aspect of claiming spirituality or something like that is on the pure basis of feeling good and stuff like that. Uh, that's fake woke. These are people that's that's not even living themselves. And they're going to attract a lot of other individuals that haven't lived yet and use these individuals as an example on how to create situations to still not live and wait around nine months and shit like that. But, you know what I'm saying? Not even in the Bible, if you're religious tell you that when you're on some godly journey everything gonna be easy breezy beautiful thugger girl and all that goddamn shit and shit free wide sale you know what i'm saying and, and other uh my homeboys what's on other homeboys uh yfm free every goddamn body i done told y'all y'all just not watching but it ain't y'all fault it's the shadow government shadow banning every goddamn body especially me and shit so it ain't really it ain't really y'all fault but God damn it, if I don't be speaking prophecy every goddamn year, every month, I don't know what that look like. If I ain't spiritual, I don't know what that look like. I have been told everybody the, the hot spots and shit before they even started throwing all these Ricos and shit like that. And what do you know? Shit crazier than a motherfucker. And I be so busy into other shit, I don't be having time to be in no human way of thinking, to be in the ego, to be like, oh, this is online. And the way it is... And I ain't start how it is now. So I ain't got the mind frame to be like, oh, let me claim everything I said and put everybody in the title all the time. And and every time I do a prophecy, now sometimes I don't give a fuck. And y'all be knowing that. I, I'm pretty sure y'all who watch me be noticing way more shit than y'all think I probably don't know. And be, and be thinking like, damn, Dolo ain't gonna never say nothing about that and shit. Like, cause I seen this. I seen, man, trust me, I know. I just forget and be doing other shit and stuff like it. Did it only be important? Shit don't even be important because I'm like the world built off my building blocks anyway. Like, I'm, shit don't be important in my mind. But I, I'm about to start rocking the universe to sleep a little bit and start doing that uh, on my monetize channel. What's going down? What's going down, Uriel? First of all, I want to say I'm glad you're doing all right. Good to see you and everything like that. So, appreciate that. Appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, of course, no problem, man. So, I don't really have like a question or nothing like that. But, you know, I like to have, I like to speak my testimonies and everything like that. From playing out the energies and everything like that so you know i had a had an accident at work uh, and my foot is broken right now which is really so time out now you know you know this title right here is good conversations with the uh angel because sometimes you gotta you gotta be careful you gotta know if the chat want to hear that but i'm gonna let you go though you know what i'm saying because you're part of the subconscious community and things of that nature but yeah go ahead you know what i'm saying no and i appreciate that because i know the, i the can chat, the chat let like you know though the, the chat the chat the chat will let you know though go ahead go ahead the chat they no, let you, you know good. Nah, you nah, you good and everything like that. But yeah, um, you know, saying all that to say is that I've been uh using my time to work on my ability and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, using that time, you know, most people when they're, you know, they don't have the time to work and, you know, they use that as their only source and everything like that. And that's the whole thing about being a man. You know what I'm saying? And that's one thing I appreciate about you is that, 
showing the ways of how to actually become a man, like a real man, not like how, you know, they say how to be a man and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Having other shit you right, can right. do and everything, other shit you can build and everything like that. So been using that time and I've been fully invested into my real estate thing. You know, I've been doing my thing and everything like that. So, you know, I've been putting in a lot of work and I've been seeing results and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it was one of those situations where it's like, you know, when you, when you're doing some, you'd be like, yes, I could do this. Yes. I believe in myself. But then, you know, when you're doing it, you, sometimes you get fatigued and you get tired and every, not you, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're, yo, it's different with you. Yeah, but no, it, yeah, we got that Virgo energy in the sky right now. Everybody going to be like that. Real shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, not necessarily you, you or yo, because you know you're different, but other people and everything. But like you said, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, exactly. But you know, doing all that, you know, feeling that fatigue energy, but at the same time getting results and having appointments set and everything like that. So, you know what I'm saying? Saying all that to say is that my testimony is that even though I was put in a situation where it may seem like it's kind of Hold on, you might have to say that again. It's going. It's freezing. It's freezing. You might gotta. You might gotta say that again. It was just freezing, going in and out. You can hear me better now. Is it still going in? It's still, now? it's still going in and out. If it's still doing on, it, you say can move on now. to the next. You can hear me now. All right, it ain't robotic no more. All right, that's cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Like I said, saying all that to say is that the testimony is that even like when you work on an ability. When you're put in a situation where you're dependent on, or if you are in a situation where you're dependent on one source of, in this case, income, one job, and you're put in a compromising situation, but you've worked on these abilities and everything, focus on those abilities and everything. And no matter how discouraging it may feel, the more you put your time into it, like Uriel says, the more you, that will bend in on itself because that's what you're concentrating in and that's what you're distracting yourself into. So by you paying attention to that, that will become your reality and everything. So me doing that, I just wanted to share that with you and everything. So, you know, that's it. So, yeah, I appreciate you, man, from the bottom of my heart. Real oh, shit. Too. Yeah, you too. I appreciate you too. Shout out to be the honest thing anything. Real shit. Yeah, so that's like a little, little motivation for y'all all to keep, keep going and things of that nature, especially when we're going through these um, extreme energies and everybody can feel – extra uh, fatigue and things of that nature with the Virgo in the sky and shit like that. So everybody got that possibility at this time too. So, you know, be careful what you eat based upon, you know, the things that you eat might be one of the reasons why you more fatigued. Uh, the ways we think may be a reason why we more fatigued. Uh, the things that we start to work on and stuff like that, that may not necessarily be productive, but we might come up with the idea to think it's productive. That might play out as being fatigued and stuff. So it's a lot of energies we may experience during this particular time with the, uh, Virgo energies in the sky and stuff for all of us and stuff. But um, yeah, and then based on his end too, that was a little motivation for y'all um, and anybody's energy and things of that nature. But so for the most part, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to the spiritual world and shit like that, just know how to motherfucker signs and symbols and duplications and stuff like that, that they throw down and create magic squares around and shit. You know what I'm saying? As long as that you're a motherfucker and aware, you know what you're going outside and looking at. So anytime they want to get happy feet, penguin face and they didn't come outside and stuff like that and start to get become youtubers and think they try to teach you some shit they should have been teaching you it's too late because you already frustrated and fed up anyway you know all that food for thought that they was giving you was bullshit bullshit seasonings no grandma soul food and shit like that and god damn it you got fed up with that shit you know what i'm saying it's like fast food right now it's like some weak ass wedding soup or some goddamn shit and you're like man i need some new goddamn watermelons and shit like that and goddamn new got fruitful lives and planting seeds and with other spirits that got some good flavors and good fruitful natures around them and stuff like that yeah all that esoteric bloodline energy that ain't got shit they do with the solid world, but they will convince you to make you think it is, which leads you into motherfucker competing with someone who looks just like you that goes to the middle of no man's land. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Where all the men and women just be in deserted space, lost into their spaceship, lies on autopilot. So they all in the opposite position of their beginning starting point of their original thought, what they was here to do. AKA your solar plexus in this opposite position, only catering to things that suit, that suit your fucking desires. And this will make you ain't shit.
because the shadow government know how to create all kinds of signs and symbols and logos and energies and corporations behind them. So you ain't got nothing else to do but to be like, yeah, I want to do that. I want to I want to jump on that trampoline job. I want to jump on that trampoline circumstance. I want to jump on that trampoline cutthroat business. I want to jump on that trampoline voodoo and, and go to war and rock a community to sleep and, and go versus versus debate debate towards someone who looked just like me so I could destroy them and show the shadow government that I'm worthy for their smack monkey grandkids on a green Polaroid Kodak picture or some goddamn shit. And that's all it really be about. Everybody expressing low hanging fruit energies. Following y'all fathers, the motherfuckers who created that concept in the first place. They got all this good technology, but look what they mind be on to do it. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Like, it'd be, it'd be some shit. It'd be the last thing I think of if I got all this good access to expensive equipment to practice my pseudo shit. You know what I'm saying? That's all they science is. The only reason you don't call they scientific methods and put pseudo in front of it because they got expensive equipment and shit like that. They still big ass, big ass kids, big ass motherfucking kids. Your flunked out ass is the one that's unaware. Your flunked out ass is the one that you just feel comfortable because they already got the world looking familiar. So you like, well, I'd rather do this. That only lead to you arguing or competing or cutthroat and business wise with someone who come from the same background as you. That's it. Whether you're in college, whether you're at a job, whether you're in sports, whether you're in motherfucking the music industry, movie industry, everybody you cut throat and every, everything you do to get a check is stepping on somebody else's toes who come from the same background as you. Tell me I motherfucking lie. You just ain't shit as all humans. Know what I'm saying? Just not shit at all humans. All of y'all. I'm tired of it. Set my little community and group. But see... Sometimes I have to hesitate on how powerful and strong I can express myself because I stop anything before it even happens. How intimidated the shadow government be from me? How many, how much, how, like how deeply intimidated they be about me? You know what I'm saying? I, can, I, I can't even come up here and pander if I really want to. You know what I'm saying? Because goddamn it, they'd be stopping me from all kind of other circumstances and shit like that. Man, they make sure whatever I'm kicking won't reach the light of motherfucking day in their world that's getting ready to become mine. Shit. I ain't come down here to play small. Or I don't want to play at all. That's how I, that's how I do it. You know what I'm saying? They 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 lucky they started to transmute YouTube to look more like me. Or I would have been doing something else. You know what I'm saying? And whatever I would have been doing would have became what everybody been doing in the world and whatever the government created to monetize around. You know what I'm saying? So God, they, they lucky. I, I, you the energy. Y'all need to know we the energy. She, even if you got a job, the job need to be lucky you work there. They need to be lucky they hire you. Like, you know, so that's how I think. I don't know how y'all think, but the, how, that's how it's, this really is, though, for real. It ain't no how you supposed to think witchcraft shit, motherfucker. That's really how it is, bitch. You too lucky to have somebody like me. They wouldn't even create something in their mind called monetization and shit like that. I'm saying real shit. I'll give a fuck what it is in the world, bitch. The men and the women, that's the real men and women know how to transmute shit. Shit. Or it would mean no such thing as the shit y'all give y'all blood, sweat, and tears to. Somebody had to sit around and transmute something. Last time I checked, for any little smack Polaroid green picture for somebody grandkid to be on it, all somebody did was sit around at the round table and tra and transmute something. A fucking tree and cut it down and they put their en they energy in that inanimate object. That's it. So uh, as me being Archangel Uriel, I'm smart. I'm not stupid. Once you know better, you do better. So why would I waste my time in the world fighting for that when I could just learn their ability and then do that? And then every, everything that they did with their ability create any kind of circumstance like that. That go in many different areas. So I could be in that space. Money don't even have to do with everything that has to do with that space that they was in to come up with that idea. When we talk about esoteric currency. So I could go in that space, duplicate off something else. And in a solid world, it'll still duplicate what they shit. No, it's like it's it's easy. All you got to do is just know the, the energy of something that you're looking at in a solid world. And the energy of it is the gas and the liquid. And if you don't know the collection of spirits that came together with a hermeneutics, Hermes, Herm, uh, Mount Hermon type stupid shit, scapegoat Satan shit. Right. They came together and made a group corporation. If you don't understand the, the the mixture that they added with it, with the gas and liquid, and you know, fire, water, air, and earth is just a transition of the gas and liquid on on that's squaring out the circle of it. 
getting into the detail of it. Fire is the beginning. Water is the second transition. The, the emanation becoming fluid once it's condensed and not separate anymore. It's an accumulation. Condensed. That's fire to water. Then you have that interaction it has in itself. That's air. So you could call that steam how you physically see. But in the mind, that's this travel or the ability to intellectualize the event that just happened that became macro and invisible. That's that you can actually observe from a micro stage that becomes visible now. And AKA air and earth is the visible version of the invisible fire and water. So fire and water is just technically fluid on density or temperament levels, lighter, man, masculine, fire, heavier, condensed, accumulation, multiple water. Now, when you get that external, internal coming together, it creates a third version. And that third person, mercury, chow, air, speed, intellect, communication, thought, steam, the connection, what binds them together. So the light spectrum itself, the binding that show you two atmospheres that came together at two different density levels, the lighter, the lighter version and the heavier version, fire, water, father, madam, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and sir, he, and and she feminine divine and when i come together it create and emanate that binding thing that is that that's that creation that show you that those two things connected and that's that fusion and friction and pressure that created that air and then once the air moved it gets to have a direction and that direction you could kind of perceive a shape or a form and that's you practicalizing or making sense out of something or grounding something and that'd be the earth aspect so none of these things are physical but this is how you make the transition of things when we start to talk about the uh gas and liquid but the east trans transition of it so you can know how to go about it in order and once you understand that you know if we're in the macro version teamwork makes the dream work the solid world then you know all you have to understand is the mechanism solid came from the gas and the liquid based and each of them have a transition of fire water air and earth and each spectrum has a, 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 a wholeness to it. So if you look at it with that aspect and things of that nature, you can kind of chalk it up as the seventh, eighth, and ninth dimension, gas, where you create the awareness for the first time, that gas. Fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, the liquid, where the mental world, where we're all in our thoughts and feelings from the accumulation of ideas, gases. So the clouds, the, the, every, the world we are all in together to make those fusion frictions to create accumulation, the bend in to become the solid world. So it's, inter it's inside out, up, down, left, right is an illusion, but it's inside out, internal, external, expansion, contraction, and masculine, feminine. You know what I'm saying? So for the most part, that's all there is. And then teamwork makes the dream work. We make, we make the thing not a vacuum because would it be a vacuum? Is this our space being unconscious? Then once we all become aware, we're separating all of our spaces with our minds, our first body that join together, but us trying to condense our own one in that. And that's your own mind and us creating this world we in, the mind itself, the atmosphere. And then for the most part, that's creating form that separate our nothing space. So that that's the subconscious world, the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, the liquid. And, and, and then for the most part, um, the, then you got the conscious world, the solid, the external and things when it becomes physical, but you think it's physical, but it's just really the gas and liquid vibrating so slow that the experience take longer to experience a transition or expiration date or, or, um, or deterioration. So it's really just the gas and liquid slow down and that's what makes it solid. So if, if, if and so we create realms of realities and that's why you can say, being real is not real. This is not real. But what it means to be real is this technically what we did to create an illusion to slow down so we can experience that realm, realm of reality. So don't pseudo it. It is what it is type shit. You see what I'm saying? So the expiration date lets you know it's not real. But the ability of you feeling it is you knowing how you made was not real from the feeling and a thought itself. That's how we make fluids. You could put yourself into a certain space, your spirit, your individual soul, start to create awareness there, a collection of gas, then it accumulate with a lot of thoughts and feelings. That's liquid. And then it bends in. And now you got blood, sweat, or tears, depending on whatever you was expressing in that realm of reality. And that's how we make organs. There is no other way to make organs. So if you're saying there's some other thing out there creating humanity and all this goddamn shit, you're lost from a retarded Mason. And the only reason they're sitting around thinking that their ideas is the smartest because the other stuff that come from it, like rulership and shit, been working for 2,000 years. So of course they're going to add the other fart cloud shit and try to justify it. But the other fart cloud shit that they're adding is in the box of shit that they're still using, like in science and shit like that, which needs to be 
updated every 10, 15 years. So that's the small fart cloud shit that they don't know. They still retarded. And what people like me need to come down here and still be expressing. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because they still have you thinking the sun is going up to the right and it's something that's floating in space by itself. And that's the all y'all gods. The sun is all sun worship. The sun's supposed to be the deification. The S-O-N, S-U-N supposed to be the deification of this God that this Mason created that they think that they're getting this idea from to create this generative principle to have this thought form that could be all for one, one for all, a.k.a. covenant government law. Whether the low hanging fruit like it and things going in their way or not, go build a brick. That's all how they think about it. They think about it, shit. Hey, we built the brick. Well, I don't give a fuck about no low hanging fruit complaining and shit like that. So they version of saying that and doing something about it is creating witchcraft for y'all to kill y'all selves. Like you know what I'm saying? Like all the slave trade, KKK, the uh uh the smallpox uh, attack on uh Indians, the motherfucking uh uh the gas box on the Jews. The they just overcame first before everybody. The the first group of mutts, aka the Arabs, so the first religious witchcraft practiced on and it, it get deep. Everybody everybody got a little bit of something from the Berbers and, and then the northern uh the northern Africa tribe. Everybody got a little bit of some of their nuts. They was dropping their nuts on all the lower parts of Africa and East Africa and stuff. Like, they dropped their nuts on everywhere. West Africa, East Africa, and South Africa. Them Northern African motherfuckers came down, dropped their nuts on everybody. That's who the Masons and the, that's who the Masons and shit be claiming that's their uh, ancestors. That's their, so they be talking about themselves. They ancestors is like some mutts that's Berbers right now. So that's why that's why when y'all be claiming y'all racist and stuff, y'all got to learn from them to learn anything about Egypt. They they way more Egyptians than y'all because they're northern African uh, worshippers and stuff like that. So all that Mesopotamia shit, like all that story, this is a story about them. The first group of motherfuckers who stopped wanting to be cavemen and women and stopped wanting to fuck out of incest because they realized first that it's creating too many miscellaneous jawlines and, and Belisiaga shoe waistlines and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So they like, oh, god damn. So they, they start doing that Wolfman and Heart energy, that caveman energy. Wow, this my property. Wow, this my bitch and all this goddamn shit. And this my and then once they started getting deeper into that, they start getting into the math and learn looking at the sun and shit. And the sun allowed they start following it and they got onto another geographical location of people who was dark just like them. We was all gold. All all the phenotypes is gold. Dark people, the dark race, the black people. That's all of us. Whether you over here now and you just an offspring ancestor mutt lost child right now, you don't. When when they say we are from Africa, they're not talking about india indians or black people they're talking about all the phenotypes and then when phenotypes start mixing the anytime when blood mix that's the only time we get deficiencies with different skin tones so the lighter or the darker you is the more of a mutt you is the more you getting into the center the more you're pure so right now they're trying to make their history like like saying that the first couple of people they made mutts over here will be like how the Arabs is in Africa over here will be what they made as Puerto Ricans. So it's, it's like saying they're pure, not pure in their blood. They're mutts, but they don't they don't have as much mixture as everybody else who fucked out of incest and out of wetlock and, and, and lost tribe because they wasn't participating with the business, entertainment, education, religion and politics. So this is why they create presidents and stuff like that in today's time. But back then, they had just hang a group of y'all monkey asses upside down on crosses or throw y'all in a real lake of fire or some goddamn shit. Because y'all don't know how to get out and participate with building a goddamn pyramid. And you want to go somewhere and cry and, and use the names that they created and, and the meanings behind it and claim that these lords and gods is going to come get them or something like that. And get your ass in that cave. If you don't wanna, you, you'll get some water when noon go, when noon go away. If you don't want to build no bricks. You know what I'm saying now they just got sufficient with it. They like, man, they they so low hanging fruit. Let's just create images out of these lower chakras and shit we already know about. So now they just create goddamn things like jobs, building, porn, uh, good sweet candy and all this goddamn shit and goddamn it, uh, uh, stress eating Netflix and goddamn it, y'all gonna distract y'all goddamn self when y'all reprobate minded and and you know, if y'all fuck out of incest too goddamn much and shit and talk about we need to stick with our own kind and shit like that. Goddamn it, where's where's goddamn it the, the other presidents again? No, I'm saying like like well, homeboy. What's homeboy name? He had eight years for no reason. The Republican, I forgot his name. I forgot homeboy name. Uh, 
the uh the um damn the um his father was was the uh president before uh Clinton. The um y'all know who I'm talking about. Nine eleven 11 happened on this time. Bush, yeah, but goddamn Bush, goddamn Bushes, goddamn the Mason's Lord Savior, and God, yo, oh, the Mason's Lord and Savior, having a godly fortress and shit. Real oh, shit, he ain't got to never worry about uh, not laying on his stomach and getting water dunk brought to him and stuff like that. Good cooked meals and hot, good, good, good hot cooked meals and shit. Real shit. Oh, I'm saying, yeah, where the words another Bush at? Oh, that's that's what they be thinking. The Masons be rubbing their hands like Birdman, like. Why ain't y'all bushes fucking enough? Y'all say when y'all gonna get another child that think like y'all and the other one. Y'all say what happened to that? They can't wait till a group of us start fucking out of incest again and start talking like, hey, stick to our own people. They can't wait to that again. They all oh, shit. Where's one of these bushes again? They start getting their bird man hands rubbing. Mean, that's a Mason's dream right there. The little bush bloodline right now. They're like, man, these cats, these cats know how to stay on track. These cats know how to hit every point. They know how to hit every decon, everything. You know what I'm saying? They know how to hit all the astrological sigils. Hey, let's build another pyramid statue in the Vatican. You know what I'm saying? Let's make sure they fucking real good. Let's make sure them little bushes over there fucking real good. Let's make sure they keep it. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Oh, sad. When they start seeing little tribes come down here and participate with the government real good, they start, they love them. They put them in all kind of spotlights. They make sure that these about to be the, the only ones we hear in the next history classes now. You was hearing about JMK and Kennedy's and all this shit. This is a spider. You was hearing about JMK and all this goddamn shit. Now, until Bush came around, shit. Now, look at your kids and your nieces and nephews and shit. And look at, I bet your grandma right now, looking at all the grandkids, history books and shit like that, all full of Bush, what Bush did now. Uh, I know about what Bush and them. Oh, it's that real shit. That's a basis Lord Savior. No, they, shit, they walk on crystal floors in the Vatican and shit next to the Bohemian Grove. You know, park next door. Real shit. He's just got a little hotel. I'll well, say a little Airbnb business on shit. A little around the corner from the Bohemian Grove and shit like that. A little, little golf course. A little golf course up the street and shit. A little carnival. A little, little carnival street and shit they live on and shit. Oh, it's that real shit. Jeffrey Epstein with the homies right now playing golf in them. You think they didn't? The motherfuckers ain't dead. Them five flunked out ass lost Masons then in the submarine trying to find the Titanic ain't dead either. Uh, so all they did was this some witchcraft, Leonardo DiCaprio, Da Vinci type of monad the picture, the first supper picture. That's it. Oh, witchcraft. From Aries to Libra, another picture of that. Go to church on the first Sunday. Make sure Jesus Christ's blood and flesh on your mind before you take this juice and cracker, bitch. That's all it is, is witchcraft. Y'all you know say you so worried talking about, yeah, God getting ready to come back. Man, shit might come back, but you need to pay your bills tomorrow. That's the only thing getting ready to come back. The next bill for next month. That's it. That's it. That's the only Jesus walking on water with me. Your water bill. That's about it. God oh, said real shit. The only thing grandma seen. She's been praying real hard. You know, Jesus gonna walk on water for our day. Shit, walk on water with that mail. Throw straight through the mail, man. Real cold. Leave him like can play basketball or something like that. Real cold. Then dunk, dunk the bill right to the bill, boss. Boom. You might think it's Michael Jordan shit like that. You going, it's the water bill. Chow on that one every month like the sun. Oh, for that. Oh, for that. Well, shit, tell me this ain't lie. I just lie. I see it. I see it every month. I said they love they love our social security numbers and then name sigils and last names with our father, Mason Colony 13 sigils. I said oh, they love that shit. How you love that? They love that shit. Yeah, of course you don't. Of course, when you don't see that shit every month, you don't got nothing to complain about. And you could just get on the Internet and think freely and be thrunked out, make a troll out of yourself and create other fart clouds about other content creators and become a hater and shit. Because you ain't in real life. You don't know that Jesus walking on water or somebody water bill coming every month. And since your name ain't on nothing and shit like that, you don't got time to think about this type of shit. So, of course, you got a lot of time to troll. Somebody probably paying for your Wi-Fi bill. Of course. Uh, of course. Uh, I say, of course. Now, when you start seeing certain things that was out of your control getting used and you're responsible for it, and shit, then that's when you start looking at things like, oh, shit, I see what spiritual people be talking about now. Oh, yeah. The fuck the government. Oh, all that shit. You start seeing that shit. 
I was saying you was uncontrolled, un in control. Your goddamn last name, social security number, you know, all this, all of a sudden, you got all these bills, new credit cards that you ain't never signed up for coming in your name, all this kind of shit. You ain't probably ain't even old enough to have none of that shit. Yeah, already get you prepared. Hopefully, you ain't got no goddamn ratchet ass auntie or something like that. Oh, sex. I live in the hood. Let me not even get too personal. Uh, Sam, before you even get 18, you forget it about credit. Yo, you forget it. Yo, shit already fucked up before you even get 18. <laughs> Yo, shit. You, you turned into 18 in a goddamn hole and was convinced the whole time you don't know what's going on. So now your aunties and them getting rocked to sleep and they rocking you to sleep so they can get over and shit. And then the whole time you don't know what's going on. You in some goddamn hole and you stressed out, not getting help. And every time you ask for help, they cuss you out till you get the fuck out. And they're the reason you in they, the fucking hole. And then they had to use your name and shit to get that get out their holes. There's a generational curse. How you love that? How you love that? Oh, I'm saying that's all. That's all I was breaking down. That's all. If you thought it was something spooky, if you thought that was pseudo, you must ain't in life then. And you just don't live in the hood like me then. I mean, you had these actual experiences personally or nothing like that. So something wrong with you? And you in you in life? La 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 la. la. Hopefully you don't get hit by a car or nothing like that. Oh, I'm saying real, you don't get hit by a, a, a transmission car and shit. A car that could turn into a goddamn a transformer and shit, and it turn into goddamn Galactus and with a woman voice and shit. You like what the fuck is this? What do X Men is this? Real shit, la 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 la. Oh, babe, the pigs don't thought I have spirits. La 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 la. Oh, la 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 la. Way back at the little league football team concession stands. And, uh, 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 uh. But yeah, y'all gotta keep that in mind. Y'all just be flunked out as hell. Ain't, life ain't about none of that goddamn shit. You better get with life and start learning with the change. Real shit. Cause then, goddamn, I'm getting ready to hit the road and hit NYC and shit like that. And I'm thinking about right now, what can I do to create some goddamn mass uh, welfare office and, and protesting system online and shit where we can all be like, no more tolls. No more tolls. It's not going towards the streets being fixed. No more tolls. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it right now. I'm, saying, I'm, I'm trying to think about where I can get on Amazon right now. Look at some mean ass dashikis and shit. Mean ass dashikis and shit. Well, I'm saying roads and shit. Like, oh, you know, you're ready to go protest in front of the welfare office. Oh, I'm saying, oh, Cynthia G Energy. Oh, i that. Oh, I'm that. A little, a little BBs in the back of the goddamn dashiki. Oh, i that. You know I'm saying they create some type of online protest in front of the welfare office central system. You know I'm saying they like you know make everybody have a talking point of yeah we're sending our toll checks back to the city hall. All them all them checks that say sixty six dollars. I'll say sixty nine dollars and seventy two cents. Oh that fuck that ass shit. I don't think the pandas for no. I don't see the roads being fixed. I do not see the road being fixed. I uh, said they just getting over. I uh, said getting over everybody in the trying to state and things of that nature. Yeah, but to get y'all mind right, I'm thinking right now. I seen a mean ass goddamn you know, red, black, and green dashiki. I was gonna see him. Get it. So, so I'm gonna get that shit. Real shit. Oh, so I seen it. Y'all gotta get y'all mind together. Y'all be having the wrong fights. You know I'm saying I'll be having the wrong fight. Y'all can't get y'all can't wait to like rock somebody's community to sleep, debate and stuff like that, and things of that nature. Then all that money gotta go towards tolls. You know what I'm saying? Cause you wanna go travel somewhere and run your mouth again. All you gotta do is run your mouth towards the right shit, and it'd be easy peasy, beautiful thugger girl and shit. And you ain't gotta break a nail or melt your goddamn steel toe boots with the like the Timberland salt logo on the side. It just ain't no Jordan with a basketball. It's like some man with a cross or something like that with a water piece of like a lily pond up under it and shit, like with two fishies under it. Oh, say, oh look, look, spiritual locals and shit. Oh, the locals. What's that, Demir Sophia locals? Oh, say, oh, Greek philosophy face. Real shit. Oh, Gnostic face. I'm gonna say yo dimmy jawline neck neck beneath the surface lower chakra urge neck. Oh, 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 oh. Real shit. But yeah, y'all the peak game. This world is crazier than the motherfucker. They got y'all all lost in the same sigils. This updated. Every civilization updated, updated, updated. Is all that talk about the same thing. You trying to go pick an older one and try to say, oh, this one better. I, I like, I like JD. Uh, the uh, what's the other toy? Uh, what's the toys? Uh, toys R Us. Yeah, there you go. Toys. Yeah, I like Toys R Us better. 
I don't like going to the back of Walmart no more. Ain't no toys there on Christmas. I like going to Toys R Us. As I said, oh, you want to go back to old Africa. You want to go back to the old shit. Toys R Us ain't open no more. Uh, so they ain't got all the good toys and stuff like that. Big old arcades and six foot tall, six foot, seven foot Barbie dolls and Ken dolls and shit and dream houses. They ain't got none of that no more. You can't be in La La Land no more. You know, so you got to figure out how to make pyramids now. I'm saying you can't be in Lost in La La Land and shit and Toys R Us and shit. Oh, shit. Real shit. <coughs> Real shit. I don't thought I had childish ass fear. <sighs> Reprobate ass spirit. You know what I'm saying? We can get the uh, goddamn smoke going. It ain't got to be the uh, highest conversation and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like your uh, your golem Jesus Christ getting slashed and shit, your Muhammad and all of the Jesus sigils or uh, alien Christ that's coming back sigils getting debunked and stuff like that, click the link. Like, give me some. I have. A, I'll, I won't. I'm not roasting or anything of that nature. I have an intelligent conversation because uh, I want to hear where people are coming from and stuff like that. I, I need to know why you might believe in aliens or why you might believe in uh, Muhammad told us that Jesus wasn't walking on water. So somehow that's your excuse to think Muhammad real and Moses. Real. I mean, you know I said like sometimes you got to like that just because they're a prophet. Who gives a fuck about them? They ain't real either. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if you want to, if you want to, like, tell me your pseudo apocryphas and stuff and how they real and stuff, we can have a good dialogue. And stuff, so you can get the bunk. I mean, it ain't gonna go no further than that. You gonna get the bunk. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. You you will get the bunk, but at the same time, I'm willing. My ears is open to have grace. So I'm willing. My my ears is open to have grace. You might be in the Hebrewism and shit like that. So yeah, you like you deep into moon cycles, but you don't know you in the moon cycles. So you be praising Mohammed and trying to argue scripture from scripture, and then when somebody holds your feet to the fire, to be like, hey, that's a contradiction. Why are Yahweh doing something in this scripture, but Yahweh is doing something in another scripture? The reason you can't explain it because you don't understand. It's just it's talking about the sun in different positions. So the sun play out differently in different times of the year. That's it. And they made allegories about it. So you like, oh, no, it is the same God. It's just in this one. It's a different. You don't understand. They're giving different names to the, the same thing. So the different names represent different positions of the same thing that they're pointing to. So if you don't know what they're pointing to, you get lost. Yet everything you describe got something to do. Uh, your, your God got a burning hair, right? This fiery burning hair as wool, right? I mean, that's just clouds. That's the clouds. When you see the sun in the clouds, you t that's what it's talking about. Uh, so that's what the, the, when you see the clouds over the sun, it'll like wo wooly hair. You know what I'm saying? And he got red eye burning. You know what I'm saying? So that's a specific. They're talking sp a specific sun. They're talking about the airy sun right there. The morning sun when it's red. Asshole. So that's when they start talking about allegories of the first sign and shit like that. Why Why do y'all keep trying to make it think it's talking about something else? I don't get it. I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to describe something that looked like you pointing to something that ain't you for you to understand it. Not you being lost in Western Hemisphere mind and you think that this thing is describing something that's like you. No. It's people making a hypothesis to convey a message to you that's pointing to something that don't look like you, not somebody telling some, somebody else something about something that looks like them. Y'all got that backwards. This is not somebody because then we have to go to that infinite regress just on some common sense shit. How, how did this what what where did this person was at to see this thing? Because every story don't never say these people are seeing it outside of them. They're always talking about this. These people seeing these things in their mind. So I don't. So I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. Why do people make it like this is something outside of their mind? They tell you that light is inside of you. They tell you God is in you. you know what I'm saying the things of that name. So I don't. I don't understand why y'all don't point to the things inside of you to see what they're talking about as a correspondence. Why y'all keep trying to look outside? That outside, that's the macro. Y'all already don't understand that version is astro theology, but it's a correspondence to the micro, how how the mind bends in and become your anatomy. So it, we was naming men and women and geographical locations, things in our body first. So men names was masculine thought forms. Women names was emotions, feel, was emotions and feelings. Areas and objects were things correspondent to our anatomy. 
So when you understand it in that aspect, you have to ask yourself, if you was the low hanging fruit getting this message conveyed to you, where's these priests getting this knowledge from to understand ourselves? Then you would get into as the as above version of it. They're copying the sun transits and practicing acting, acting it out. And that's what taught them that. So that's how they solidified their uh, or, or justified their ideas. So you have to understand that and things of that nature uh, from that aspect. And then when we start to talk about uh, them conveying that message to individuals, when you understand it from that aspect, then you know what you're hearing when it say going to Israel or Jacob name being turned to Israel. Jacob came from a low hanging area. Uh, it's a representation of a thought form you could be in that ain't so uplifting. Israel is a location so that we named that our temple first. Our, that's what we was calling our head first, Israel, or the, the house of God, where you're the seat of your spirit or, or your mind and things that they was lost in. And anytime as a spirit, you can go in that space, whatever thought you was in that wasn't in that space, you can change the thought that you in now that you took from that space and you can change it to the name of that geographical location you you made it in, Israel. So when you in a Jacob thought, and you get out of that low emotional depression or that frustration or that wrestle with an angel. And once you defeat it or whatever like that, then for the most part, you change your idea about whatever was frustrating you. And that whatever that new idea is going to be one you created up here, a higher chakra in your in your Israel place, in your Israel. So Jacob become Israel, a.k.a. whatever better idea you came up with will be an allegory to was Israel and whatever fart cloud you just got out of was a that was a frustration will be a Jacob thought will be an allegory of that Jacob thought. So when you understand it from that aspect, angels is men thought forms. So anytime your spirit is wrestling with an angel, you're wrestling with thoughts. So Jacob is a specific thought. So Jacob was wrestling with a specific angel. You see what I'm saying? So when you think about the description that the Jews trying to convey what Jacob was going through, that lets you know what space that spirit was in as below and with theology, they came up with that morality and philosophical system with psychologically as above astrology and astronomy. So when a person is acting out characteristics of as above, when the sun is in a low uh, and is in this opposite position as below, this will be a spirit creating thoughts in their lower parts of their body that we call in these names. So the heart area or the chest area or the cavity will be considered Jerusalem. So when you read the Bible in its proper context, you understand that the, the pointing to Jerusalem is the chest area where people may care too much. And if you a spirit in this area and you don't have the right charity, chastity um, and things of that nature, then you may care. You, you have an uncircumcised heart. So you're getting ready to have a dried up heart where you allow so much things to happen to you. You you don't have no more emotional connection or care anymore for life or connection or manifesting and things of that nature. Spirits that's in these low victimizing energies live in Jerusalem. Now, the the location that they started to practice that as above, so below to create a civilization. Then they once they practice those characteristics, all the low hanging fruit that's playing out those energies that they set at the round table to say you have to be in this space as a spirit to be in those characteristics that cater to those organs. Then they actually called the external land. This will be considered Jerusalem because this will be practicing creating civilization of this character we just learned in Jewish mysticism. Jewish mysticism, Jewish is this another term as philosopher. Mysticism is another term for unknown. So what was they pointing to back then? What was considered to be unknown? The mind. And if you was a Jewish person or Jew, not Jewish, you would just it doesn't it didn't matter your race. You was a person who just practiced um, philosophy. So. You was a you was a philosopher of the mind at that time. So this what made you a priest. Now the high priestess was the Masons, Malchizedek concepts and stuff like that, where you come up with a concept that others can agree with, that don't cause disagreement. Find a witness, someone who someone else who's seen that universal law on their own time. That when y'all together, y'all both could agree with y'all seen. Create a little system. 
that become a God. Y'all bring that fruit and labor down to a society that's still in their Jerusalem mentality and therefore built a structure, which will be the first church that rise when the sun in the morning rise over that church first, that everybody come as a cathedral and pray over. And the Masons did their first prayer to create that witchcraft to be on your knees, hold your hands like an ax over the heart chakra, because we cut down things to build things over the minds of people who live in on the heart chakra, Jerusalem. And then for the most part, um, also, this is like a um, that a, a witchcraft of magical thinking and how they came up with the concept of, of tearing things down to build that first church also and things of that nature. And then for the most part, that's the church that all the low hanging fruit come to the worship, the individuals who built that church and they give them water at the time that they decide. And that's Mount Chedjadek, AKA the Masons in today's time and the characteristics that they're playing out. So if you're a religious individual, you don't even understand that story because you lost in spookism and think that Mount Chedjadek was talking to some other God of concept. Then I give it to you in your little baby childish speeding kind of mindset to understand it. Let's say the Masons didn't have anything to do with the Bible. Okay, they're practicing the Bible and the witchcraft in it harder than you. They're doing what you're supposed to be doing harder than you because when you see the story, uh, at least that they're trying to do these things. You see what I'm saying? So, for the most part, for you to come up with any argument about, well, through your bias and filtering system of the subsidiary energies of, oh, they're evil, they're not doing this, and they're things that they're not teaching us and stuff like that. That's besides the point at the at the fact of the hands and manner. They play a bigger game than you. And that's just me giving you grace. All y'all flunked out in my eyes. Son, real shit. It's going down. Hey, Dolo, how are you? Pretty swell, pretty swell. Um, I just wanted to come on here because... I've been flunked. Um, I had like a mental breakdown. Um, uh -oh. Yeah, where like I was diagnosed with psychosis because oh, I thought the government was after me. And I just wanted to come on here to like kind of undo that flunkness and like understand really what happened to me because. Um, the reason I thought the government was after me was because um, there was like this whole like, I don't know, like mental game that was being played on me. I don't know how, but it was like, I don't know, I was like hallucinating that Donald Trump was like talking to me and like, um, I, I thought like these... Um, I thought it was like this men it was like this mental game where like um I had to figure out like what what celebrity was like playing a position in a character in like the Bible like who's playing the position as God who's playing the position as the devil and like it was so, like, so, so you basically just got out of all that though that was you basically start to figure out that was a fart clout yeah, but I just I don't understand how it happened. Like that's what it that's what confuses me. Like I don't understand how I was put in that position and like um I got a text like when cuz the police like came to my house to take me to the mental hospital when I had the mental breakdown and um like when I was like trying to like um I don't know. I got like this text from like a random number that said like Dolo is God. And I thought like, yeah, I could show you the text. Like, I, and like, I don't, I really just don't understand what happened to me. And I don't know. I thought maybe like, yeah, you, need, you need to block, you need to block, block these people and stuff. Yeah. You need to block, block anybody that, that got anything to do with anything. You know I'm saying, cause uh, yeah, I get trolls daily. So anytime people like I get so many trolls that's so flunked out in the mind, they sit there and harass everybody in the chat, like everybody and stuff like that. So that's probably what you catch it right now. So, yeah, block it, block any type of troll that's lost in their mind so they don't get you any loss in your more in your mind. Real stuff. But I just don't understand how like they would even get my like. Get my head. I don't know. It was like this weird thing that happened to me. I don't know how it happened, and it was like really crazy. So what happened? Um, I don't know. I went to the mental hospital, and like that's what happened. <laughs> yeah. Got you straight, though. I'm glad they got you straight. But yeah, block anybody. Uh, when it come to uh 
because you know people especially when it comes to my channel you know what i'm saying so you it's i don't know why i attract so many like lost people in the world but there to be people that's my trolls that they sit there and got so much free time in their life that they go there and troll everybody that they see in my chat anybody that they see in any of my social media friend apps and stuff like that so like how i do it i had to uh detach just totally well i've never been attacked like attached so anytime i see stuff like that i block it you no know, not a second later and stuff but but i'm starting to see based upon even what you expressing right now you're not the only one there's a lot of other people too and uh that said that they witnessed stuff like that especially when it comes to ig like i got so many like troll fake accounts and stuff like that that's got my name misspelled it's crazy so yeah just block things on the instant uh, make sure you keep up with that, uh, whatever situation you was in and whatever they took you to, cause they, they got you right. So however they did, make sure you keep up on that. And, uh, yeah, just, just make sure your, your block hand is just as hard as somebody who playing the M WNBA. Real quick. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Shout out to North. No, real shit. That's it. Yeah. Like sometimes I'll be having to, um. Sometimes I be thinking, because I'm from the hood, you know what I'm saying? So I just be thinking, like, everything normal or whatever like that. But as long as I've been online, the amount of people I started to attract when it comes to trolls and stuff, I started to realize, nah, it's something else. You got to kind of be careful. The, your, the power is real and stuff like that. And, you know, humans, like, humans are turning into demons and trolls real quick and do all kind of weirdo shit in this world. So, yeah, that, so... Yeah, you just got to be careful. All y'all in the chat, make sure y'all have y'all uh, block games up and stuff like that. Because y'all could, could probably be on. A lot of y'all probably could be following and having uh, trolls follow y'all right now. That's why I low-key kind of be hard for me to even really be on IG like that and Facebook and all these other apps and shit like that. Because every now and then, like especially IG. Like I get on, I, and I don't know when IG started getting recommendations. I get a recommendation and it'd be like a troll page. And like, I, I see like half of y'all names following that person and they following y'all and they don't be having no posts or they might have like five posts that look like they got that off Google or something like that. It don't even be, it don't even be looking like the, it, be, it look like they went on Google and went on to another country and got somebody's pictures and stuff like that. And street, it'd be looking straight up like that and shit like that. I'd be like, man, what the hell is this type shit? And half of y'all be following these people and they be following y'all back. I'm like, man, let me go. I, I be thinking, do I need to make my page private? Real shit. <coughs> <coughs> I got real discernment. <coughs> I don't just be open <laughs> to any old buy or anything of that nature. I, I, and I ain't got validation or abandonment issues either. I, I'm not wet off attention. Or I wouldn't talk the way I talk. So y'all know in my real life, I'm not like that with family or nothing. I'm not somewhere saying something like I put my foot in my mouth and somewhere not standing on what I said. Like, should I have said that? Or oh, this person might think this. I'm, I, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so that's all the way down to <laughs> <clears throat> oh shit. That's all the way down to when I see fart clouds and weird shit. Oh uh, no, nah, I'm not accepting that shit. I ain't friendly and open to uh, everything in the world. I don't I don't like attention that much. I don't say real shit. I see anything funny or whatever like that. I don't like attention that much. I've been doing this too long. Shit, you you even got only one or two posts. I don't need your follow. I might un I might unfollow you for me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I might make you unfollow me for for you or something like that. Cause you could do that. Oh shit! Like once I see the too many follows and go on the page, there's only like three pictures up there and stuff like that. Shit, I'm I'm liable to block your ass. I don't like attention all like that. Attention ain't that great. Oh shit! Oh, so I ain't in, I ain't in numbers like that. You know what I'm saying? Just look at that stuff like, oh, well, it don't matter. This just add on to the numbers. Hell fucking no. I don't like numbers like that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that deep. Cool. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. But, uh, yay. 
You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm gonna have that more structure anyway, especially when it comes to the uh the subconscious community and the soul group, because it's gonna be so much stuff I'm doing anyway, and people y'all get familiar with around me anyway on lives and stuff like that to the point that it's it ain't gonna be no no uh confusion. It ain't gonna be no distraction, especially when it comes to trolls that's coming out of nowhere that be still trolls. And y'all probably think they ain't because sometimes they in, they be in a chat. They might be saying soul groups or conscious community. But if, if if you watch they trolls long enough, you will start to see, oh, this is somebody that's really an agent. You will start to see the sarcasm or you'll start to see something that they say to make you realize this ain't a person that watched Dolo. This is something, this is a psyop right here. This is a, a person that probably all always was a troll. They're just doing it in another angle right now. You know what I'm saying? Watch everything. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have that straight anyway. Cause uh, since they trying to block me offline and stuff, which they can't, I, I'm just doing it in real in real life, in the real world, too. So, it, 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 therefore, it ain't no chalking up nothing. So, when the internet just go away anyway, which it ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm still going to be the example of how we do this in real life. You know what I'm saying? Have a real good, organized, well-oiled running machine and all that damn shit. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have com commanders. Uh, uh, chiefs and all that stuff and, and then that's when y'all gonna start seeing my online channels with wrenches and stuff like that but I'm, I'm building all that up in real life getting that straight first day or because there's about to be some real shit going on because I, I can't no longer wait for the government or flunked out humans and stuff like that like like them last transits in 2016s and all that shit nah now we got to make it happen this month so it's gonna be straight and everything gonna be in order and, and doing it for real because everybody trying to copy the Kataba shit anyway. So now it's time just to do it, show everybody how to actually do it. And it's gonna be orders, go orders and commands. And so you know what I'm saying. So once I get myself straight, you know what I'm saying, I'm the chief. That's it. I'm the head flight and then my other half. That's the chiefest. And then everybody else, it did start to build on like the the uh, Kabbalah Safaroth. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in there has to start the communities, you know what I'm saying? And it start to spread out. Now, in the meantime, how we built that right now is building that so it can be solidified. But right now, we got to make that happen. So, right, it's just, it's about just dating up right now. So, we're creating dates where it's in events and circumstances and ceremonies and, and building rapport in real lives and stuff like that. Then that just pour over online because we already doing this online. And then that's going to, that's when the real mission going to start. You know what I'm saying? Where God going to really see well, what these vessels doing. Well, let me jump through them and see how far this go. You know what I'm saying? And then, then the mission is on. Then the mission is on. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Because it's all about, it's the mental game. See, with the how they play it first is the mind. What's going to happen is if they can't assassinate your character, then they do it in the solid world. So your character is your first body. That's the gas and liquid. If they could if they could distract you long enough so your social security card and your character, your mind, match something that they can trap you in, whether they have to feed you with things that look like it's going in your favor and putting you in algorithms or not. If you don't know how to look at it from that area, this is how if you're being used as a puppet without knowing it, and when you try to get off track, they put you in jail or something like that or kill you or something like that, right? So if you understand that's what's actually going on, then the power is in the intelligence, the gas and liquid first, right? So if you know how to create so many mathematical precisions together in such a frame of thought that they will have to feel guilty even using solid force or you so intelligent that they know that they have to come better with a psychology or reverse psychology because they know it's hard for you to be distracted. And anytime you do get something that look like it go in your favor and you could be distracted, you switch it back on them again. This is how you start to play the game. You could play the game all the way till you old and die. At that point, they never won. We all going to die. That, let, let me make it simple for you. If you plan the actual regular game. You get you work so hard your first till you get your first Saturn return and build your credit. Now, when you about to build up your next Saturn Saturn return, you going from your thirties to build your business. Now that you created all these ideas and wasted time with the college for. Now you building all that. Now, once you got your credit straight, your forties and fifties and stuff like that, right? Whatever you get, your you might got a high credit score to the point that whatever you get 
it's so much that you have to pay. Should they get it in blood? Get it in blood. So that's how you play the game. So you want to be like your grandparents or your parents or, or your or your aunties and die with that bill stressed on your on their mind or use your abilities to do what they did and rock them to sleep and have all these things and ain't have to pay it either. So that's like that's how you do that shit and switch and switch everything over, change the goddamn esoteric piping systems and stuff like that. Cause y'all don't be getting it and shit. So I, that's how you make it uh simple. You get your credit so good to the point that the stuff you start getting in that credit range, you could be rocking them sleep the sleep the whole time. So you could be paying them here and there and stuff like that. But they know everybody ain't gonna take these things with them. And everybody gotta die. So if you if you got your credit real good. Then God damn it, you go ahead and get all that good shit. And then when you get old, shit, they, when you die, who gives a fuck if it's paid off or not? You enjoyed it. It was yours. What's that real shit? So when you play in the spiritual game, who gives a fuck if they think they distracting you at the moment with conveniences? If you know how to change it on them and things of that nature, then who said it ain't going to be always easy? But at least you're not, at least you're more intelligent to not get trapped in one of their sigils that can lead into the solid world to have them be able to put you in a position that they can actually hurt you physically though or assassinate your character so you have to keep your knowledge open therefore every time you see a new concept they create it and craft it up as wiz witches and wizards based on how they see society interacting the percentage level of the of the mind states of people the percentage level of the energies that they're giving attention to and they know how to create narratives around that because they know everybody in survival mode so when people is the survival mode they go get these jobs and things of that nature. All they got to do is create cartoons, movies, the way you have to go to school, the way society work that look opposite to the individual that they don't like at the moment. So even if you had people following you, a person still going to think, oh, I got to get money first. They already lost to society and the way they have to get it already going to look like what society crafted to fight you. So whatever you start doing, people around you will assassinate your character. And if that don't work, if you're still convincing, that's the other battle. That's an everyday uphill battle you're going to have to go through. you got to be a mission for God. You can't look at none of these and run away. Then you got you got to be smart enough. Don't don't fall short and let them sit back and be like, yeah, we got them. They, they're going back to church. They got a regular job. They gave up. Or don't fight in a negative way where they can get you and make it justified to kill you with a weapon or to assassinate your character and to make it seem like you did do something reckless. So it was a method behind your madness, but it ain't what you did is how you did it. You ain't do it the right way. You wasn't strategic. You wasn't smart. You wasn't intelligent. So small hand of people might've got your purpose, but still wouldn't come after you still because of how you did it still though. You get it. So you got, you got to fight back with the mind as a spirit, go back to the spaceship world. Go back into the gas and liquid and be like, okay, I see what they're doing, God. Give me another ability to fight this one. Because they've been looking at other people and looking at my character and figuring out ways of how to create the change in number since I'm in a magic square to have this scenario play out where I'm still on the opposite end. What can I do, God? Now, once you go talk to nothing and you ain't thinking too hard, God give you this new ability. Boom, come back to the world. Come back into the solid world. Now, start to express yourself and whatever you say, is going to be that light that that's even unknown to you that other individuals, even once attacking you, that's in rulership, will be able to see and be like, oh, they were somewhere that we can't we can't attack them that way. It'll be too obvious. Whatever they just said and expressed going to make going to make other people who see that if we do anything or say anything to assassinate their character, this person said something in such a way that people who was listening with common sense will be able to pull out what we did. So we can't do that this time. OK, how about. Let's put this person in a spotlight, send them a contract, give them a million dollars, and let's see if they get more distracted with that real quick while we got enough wiggle room and look at them from a distance to see how to come next time. This is how they think, you know what I'm saying? So you, you got to stay on your toes, but still rock them to sleep. Take that little convenience, get your community together behind closed doors, let them know the plan, then boom, get back on the mission. Business, entertainment, education, religion, and politics on everything we broadcast it all. 
Speak a good game again. Do everything transmit shit. Make something else lit. Make something else the new TV. Whatever we got to do. Whatever. Just keep it going. Life don't stop. Just have, what you want to play small or big. You can look at the people who play small. They still got to get up and go to work every day. And every day ain't promised. They could get fired or something like that. So the hell with the insurance and ain't good vacation days. Or they in the same situation as some everybody else saying like me. So you're going to play small or big. That's it. That's it. But. How you going to do it? Is you going to put yourself into the let's make sense out of it situation where you get so much good credit, you could buy the things you always wanted. That's too much to even pay before you die. So you ain't got to worry about that anyway. Or you're going to play small, get what you can and get crumbs and die with these bills on your mind because you still couldn't get what you actually got. See what I'm saying? AKA is you going to play the game, not run away from it and be in a woods musty. No, you have to have some ability and you have to have a mission for it. Where is it going towards? What is you trying to transmute? God need to see you need to change. You need to change the world. Ain't you complaining? And they get they got five templates: business, entertainment, education, religion, and politics. And they created their survival system off that. Pick one of those and change it. Now I'm Uriel. I'm an example. I do all of them. All we can do is come together and just be mad, qu quick as hell with it. At this point, you know what I'm saying? So it got to be something in business, entertainment, education, religion, and politics. What religion is you into? Which religion you don't like? Even if it's one you like. Uriel teach knowledge that for all of us to understand that we don't have to debate no more. So you could go fight for religion so all the religions could come together. What kind of business do you like to do? Real estate, circumstances, uh, uh, like shout out to the soul group, um, um, building other uh, uh, daycares, build, whatever the case may be. It don't matter what it is, whatever the how the business it is, is uh, uh, funding uh, and whatever the case, piping, melting metals, however the case may be or whatever like that. Boom. We use our abilities for that and take over that. So everybody want our metals and stuff like that. They don't want the Jews metals no more. So everybody like riding around on our rims. We don't like riding around there and stop being Michael Jordan's. We got to be the cobalt mines and the gold mines. These rims got to be in our name. Stop trying to go get a deal. And now you just got the rapper energy. Hey, go buy my liquor. Go buy my rims. And somebody else getting all the money. How about us being like, oh, it's our energy. We put the energy in this inanimate object. Hey, everybody, we're a community. We already support ourselves. So the, all the Jews and their kids, that we the only ones they entertain by. You know what I'm saying? So who, who else is adding all the energy anyway? Y'all just allowing them to keep being kobolds. They can't shoot a jump shot. They can't rap on none of these microphones. They can't sing. They can't act in none of these movies. But they damn know how to take advantage of your ass. Though. I'm about tired of that. Ain't y'all tired of that? How the hell is we the best actors and actresses and none of us own a Universal Studios? That's like a rapper with no studio. It's damn near like that. How the fuck you the musician and you don't got a studio? And as soon as you get in, as soon as you got to where you got, how you got there was from your studio, the first thing they recommend you is, hey, come to this studio. Hey, meet this guy. Hey, meet Guyvy. Hey, meet this guy. Before you know it, you ain't you going to even live for the love for it no more. Might not even want to do it no more because you feel too obligated about shit. You all tired of that shit? They need y'all to come to their tennis courts and rub their nuts across y'all ass. Not y'all the other way around. How you got there was from your goddamn grandmother's house. Out of your grandmother's attic and basement and room and shit. That's how you got there. The fuck? Don't, don't get to a situation and forgot where the fuck you came from, motherfucker. The fuck wrong with y'all? This is this is divide and, divide and conquer on the highest level to the point that as soon as you sign any contract, you automatically get the weird peer pressure, fart cloud energy of I can't go back to the hood. It's, it's the, the whole program is already set, set up as goddamn it gang stalking where it ain't nobody specifically pointing you out, but it's the system itself is set up like that. All the, the, the whole grid and the formation is set up. For y'all to look at each other in certain ways. So as soon as a contract involved. People who don't got a contract. Mind already indoctrinated to think about it a, a certain way. People who feel like they can get help from it. The people around you. They are they mind already constructed around it the right way. Where they'd be giving you advice to, to, to sign it. Even if there's a lot of bad decisions in it. You will be coming up with a lot of thought for us based upon the situation that you're in to think that whatever's going on is the right way. How all these all these spark clouds make up to some witchcraft that y'all ain't in control of that a group of men who even came up with the concept of contracting get put down. So all you so you just have to experience all the interactions and the reactions from these spark clouds from people from you and people who look just like you. Not knowing why the world this way and the world was made that way. You know what I'm saying? So you fighting people that look just like you before you even get anywhere. Then when you get somewhere, 
you around a whole bunch of people who took advantage of you just to, for them to be where they at. Because none of them shot a basketball shot. None of them wrapped on no microphone. None, none of them uh, none of them did nobody's hair. But they sure know how to make you, make you go get a job so you can buy that big blow dryer machine. They sure know how to make you give your blood, sweat, and tears and go to college debt so you can go to the NBA. They sure know how to make you go through tarot card events and get your life in danger and shit like that so you can be in the music industry and the movie industry so, and, and, and play out the actual life, living, acting out art shit. So I'm confused a little bit. How is we still the ones putting the energy in that inanimate object but got confused to, that we ain't and someone else is capitalizing off of it? Now, now this, is, this should be the real topic of everything. Fuck all that other bullshit. The, all that Aboriginal, Pan African, all that shit. Fuck all that shit. When we got people who still in that system and the things that we once upon a time we was indoctrinated, we thought it was hard work. Then when we all start seeing this new world we in, we start to realize that ain't hard work. Well, we doing actually hard work. So now when you actually compare and contrast, you can actually sit back and really consider what the fuck difference is you doing? What's the difference between you and goddamn Chris Rock on stage up there venting for 40 minutes, making 20 million? And you being online venting right now for eight hours and shit like that with way more broader topics, way more characteristics. All y'all beautiful spirits as females and males out there, men and women. Let me not say females and men. All my con I mean, uh, females and males. All my content creators, beautiful goddamn men and women out there. Uh, freestyling off the dome, writing up, coming up with curriculums and pre-think, pre-recorded, pre-set up lectures. That's more powerful than any goddamn Manly P. Hall and shit like that. And feel good doing it because it's just your left pinky toe. It's something that God just gave you. So you're not even looking at it like that. So when you getting crumbs, a.k.a. getting capitalized behind closed doors without just realizing it. You get even more excited. It motivates you. Like, oh, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. You mean to tell me how 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 always been since my birth? It's accepted in the world now. Did we got angels online that made it possible based upon them doing it when you couldn't get paid? And people looked at them and made us possible for we could get paid now. This is smooth. Just for us to sit back now and when we start getting tired, and God actually starts showing us to be like, Look, look, child, I know you're excited with all this gold you creating and melting, but look at the cobalts over there. They're not creating no gold. Everything that they melting, making beautiful shapes and making other, everybody wet over, that it, that energy inside that inanimate object, yours, child. Do you know that? Then you got to think about it. Then you sit back. You be like, damn. We do create Ebonics. We do change terms. Damn, we even made bitch a curse word. That's not even a curse word. Some flunked out ass miscellaneous jawline Greek named bitch to be a female dog. We so powerful, we made that monkey ass motherfucker change the encyclopedia and actually say it's a derogatory. You can't even go nowhere and say bitch without people thinking that's the hmm, damn, we do we this is our part, right? Did we make you two the new TV? Damn, hold on, wait a minute. Motherfucker, order in the court. Real shit. Now we need order now. Wake the fuck up. I ain't, I don't think I ever seen Chris Rock uh uh making Def Comedy Jam the new Chris Rock show or only he hosts. I think he just had his time slot like everybody else and Russell Simmons still was making all the money. I think we gave you two the idea that they could start making some money. God damn it, y'all better start acting like it. Shit. Don't let me be the only one up here talking like this now. I know it's a weird ego fart cloud in the world where because I be touching so many topics and stuff that it kind of make it weird. Like it's against the law to even ex accept Uriel if you ain't part of a soul group, positive or negatively. But nah, with this battle right here, hold on. Nah, nah. This, that that them type of egos don't, shouldn't count. And I give y'all grace as humans. I don't, I'm not mad at y'all for that. I understand it. I've been hearing all eons. Trust me. I experienced that in worse times with broader spirits. But at this time, this little mission, this is one of the same, motherfucker. I don't see the difference. And I'm a motherfucker up here with a goddamn hernia that created pancreatitis. You mean to tell me, motherfucker, and I can still freestyle and do all things, music and uh, comedy and all this motherfucker shit. And you mean to tell me I ain't allowed to talk like I deserve with the same and I'm worth the same what Chris Rock was up there doing? And all he did was get slapped the fuck out of. And without that, he wouldn't have had no motherfucker enough promo and shit like that to have it lit. 
The only reason, the only reason motherfuckers even went to listen and that motherfucker shit sold out is like the same energy gunner gunner in. The only reason motherfuckers running around bumping gunner still is shit like that because people just wanted to hear what the fuck he say after just what's happened. Motherfuckers wanted to hear what Chris Rock after he had to say after he just got slapped the fuck out of. Look like a cheetah print face. You know what I'm saying? Look like a Timon and Pumbaa neckline neck. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Oh, hungry hippo hyena face. Now, shit been dry. He ain't got slapped the fuck out of, and he ain't creative enough, and his ghostwriters is on vacation and shit. That's why you ain't hearing nothing from Chris Rock. Yet, we up here every motherfucking day, hours, hours, freestyling, and it's this God's gift. We not ever looking at it like that, and our gifts is getting taken advantage of. I think it's time to look at it like that now, then. All y'all females that was in these abusive relationships, that's the energy you in. This energy I'm in with that shit. That's the same space you be in when you tired of an abusive relationship and shit like that. You're like, okay, now it's time for me to start looking at it like this now. I'm saying real shit. <laughs> they getting all this good loving energy, all these good characteristics. We ain't doing nothing but killing ourselves with it. You know what I'm saying? They getting all these good vibes, all these good social media apps getting lit and shit like that. We doing that shit. These motherfuckers sitting back making us go to war against each other. And we don't even know how to come together and make it look good and rock them to sleep. Make make them believe whatever we doing is for real. All the way until them checks start getting cut because we know that's what they want to see. Then when that check get cut, that's when we be like, oops. Oh, y'all thought we was for real? I thought y'all just liked our character. I thought y'all liked the way we dress. I thought y'all liked the way we hang the gun sideways and stuff like this and do it and stuff like that. Yo, I thought y'all just liked that. I ain't know y'all. I, I thought that's why y'all was giving us the check. I, you know, so y'all thought this was for real? Well, check this out. We could make it look for real. We like those cameras in a new Avatar movie and shit and a new Marvel comic movies. How about give us those cameras and give us those kind of paychecks? We'll make a movie that look like it's real for y'all kids and stuff like that and look like a real Chirac movie. Hey, we had call it Chirac too. And all this stuff you've been seeing us do online and stuff like that. We'll do that in this movie and shit like cut another check. Boom, that's it. How you love that? How you love that? Old Block 6030 in movie. How you love that? Oh, I'm saying. I know how to bring us together. That's why God made sure I don't be in jail. And even if I was in jail and shit like that, I would change the whole world everywhere I go. Because I'm too powerful. That's why the shadow government demonetizing me and shit right now. Because you can't tell me it ain't no PSYOP in Chicago police force releasing all these videos of these cats. Making mockeries and stuff. Man, listen, man. I'm from the hood. These is my people. Don't, don't do this shadow government because you know, I get the talking. And you won't be able to stop the whole world. Trust me, if I get to talking for my people and stuff, you won't be able to stop. Because if I wake them up and enough people understand what I'm saying, you won't be able to stop it. Because that's all y'all doing, using their gold and using it as a cobalt mine to change us to feel like what we need to do or not do it. We want to be in movies and music now. Nah, you're not about to do that. So like I say, everybody look like me who from my backgrounds and stuff, rock them to sleep. Damn. And, and I don't want to do reverse Cause this really like you gotta be caught on. You gotta be smart. Me saying it, that defeat the purpose. Shadow government gonna know, you know what I'm saying? But I give one, we could do this broader. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? They think whatever's going on is real. So they give me y'all checks to actually kill each other and stuff like that. Cause they really want you, it's like a reverse psychology. They kids love it. But if y'all actually kill y'all selves for the money that they give y'all for their kids, y'all get rid of y'all get rid of y'all sales for them because they hate that their kids love y'all too. So it's like reverse psychology and they can still wash their hands and not meet no karma and sacrifice y'all to their gods and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So if they like they like the energy and how we dress and how we kill each other so much, so let's start acting like it. Who said we got who said we was actually killing each other though? Uh, say you already getting checks and actually doing it, make it look good and raise the bar, raise the check every time. Uh, say raise the check every time. Then when the shadow government like, oh, these the next lit people here because they say, yeah, I know these people gonna raise the the raise the people that we don't like from our kids so they can kill each other at all these concerts or shit like that. Y'all about to get up in that hundred thousand million dollar check and then that's when y'all could be like, wait a minute, where the Disney cameras at though? 
Uh, say, uh, we, we might kill each other. Let's go get the Disney cameras. Let's see those first. And let's see those type of checks first. Let's be at those type of meetings first. And, and then the, the 10 people I killed in this track, it might, we might do some few more YouTubes and TikToks and stuff that look like we did. We got to, we got something done. Oh, I said something like that, but we got, hold on. What, we got that new DSL camera yet first? You know what I'm saying? And we, we got that new manager y'all trying to get to us first. You know what I'm you start talk, yeah, that's how you start thinking real good. Before you know it, we all done died and just enjoyed our lives. You know what I'm saying? With good money. And we ain't have to kill a soul. You know what I'm saying? All we did was kill their spirit. <laughs> make, make them think that we was doing what we thought they was going to do. And we thought that we was going to oh, say good witchcraft, good new spirits, good new world we in, good new godly past. Well, shit, pay us, motherfucker, if you like the way we act and like the way we look and you like the way we talk and you like how we use these 808 low vibrational water syndrome, boom, 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 everybody going to hell at this concert. Uh, Sam, now, if you like that, y'all, you know, Sam, real shit, pay us. We know how to be creative. Y'all, you know, Sam, real shit, other than that, goddammit, y'all better wake up and learn how to start being Jordan and Mikey. Stop killing each other just to be Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Real shit. All puns intended. Chicago Bulls. You know what I'm saying? I don't talk to ceilings and Casper the Ghost. I don't know what this is. You gotta raise your hand. But yeah, real shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's all they've been doing. I'm tired of these bucket hats with tight ass goddamn it bow ties with swollen ass Adam's apples that look like wet water cotton balls and shit like that, right? Get, getting ready to go to these clubs and shit and leave safe and sound. And then everybody that's giving blood, sweat, and tears killing each other. Y'all goddamn need a whole military, air force, and army in front of y'all just to goddamn before you even go into the club to show up and shit. I'll say you can't even do a, a show up. Let alone perform. Real shit. And you ain't getting shot at. And ain't nobody in the crowd fighting. No, no one else but people that look just like you. And y'all know when I say that, I ain't racist. I'm not talking about race. I'm talking about everybody who come from your background. Or something like it. It's all the same. And they and they look at all y'all as they lap doggy, lap tap, lap, lap rat tesses. And y'all need to know that. And y'all need to stop killing each other being trying to be Jordan and trying to be Nike and Jordan too. AKA Jordan is an allegory of being a gold mine. You can shoot the basketball. You can rock your puppets that look just like you to sleep. And we can use you as a puppet to make people know what to do and what not to do to join the system. And you can get some crumbs that might look like this piece of the loaf, AKA millions of dollars, or whatever like that. But don't ever forget your logo is on our corporation building strap form Nike. And you, we, and every time people complain, we will create some uh, the Django story or Indiana Jones story to make or Wakanda Forever story to make you believe that y'all got some power. AKA, we we allow you to have a few Jordan logos without the Nike sign on it. Y'all just don't forget the the box you it came in got Nike on the receipt. It's just like somewhere down the line, y'all got to stop being the goddamn just gold mines and be the coal mines, cobalt mines, bitch. Real shit. So eventually you got to wake up and understand, oh, it's me. It's us who putting this energy in this inanimate object. And the reason why our energies are so scattered, because all of us is separating. So we, we only put in small pieces of percentage level in inanimate objects. And really another shadow government is doing it and making us rock, rock the sleep. So for the most part, one of the main tricks they create for us is divide and conquer. So because they divide up it divide all of our energy signatures and shit. So all of our gold mines be divided up and be used to attack each other with our creative gold just to get what they melted from our gold to make good silver pennies and coins and smack monkey uh, grandkids on somebody's green Polaroid picture. You know what I'm saying? And then for the most part, the that shit wouldn't even be important if we didn't give it energy and we didn't add our energy into that inanimate object. They money, they sports, none of that would be important. So it ain't what we doing is how we do it. We got to know what energy we're putting in, what, anim what inanimate object we're putting our energy into. See what I'm saying? So if you know money ain't the thing and we make something else important that we're paying attention to, money will come like nothing. 
Because here's the thing. The, their only power is force and making us believe something. Their magic don't actually work like Uriel, stuff like that. So when you actually look at the right things to give your energy to, your thoughts and feelings to that inanimate object that they created to try to make us care about, when you look at the right percentage level to give your energy to, you will start to realize it's a trick. This is a trick you could do. They throw money at you as a form of distraction. So anytime you don't pay attention to the money and follow the money and you follow the practice, you follow the ritual, you follow the energy, they don't want you to follow that because you will know how to do something for yourself. And then you could put any energy in any inanimate object all the way to even money at that point. They don't want you doing that. That's why even in the Bible, they tell you, don't listen to astrology, numerology, geomancy. Yet the whole Bible is crafted out of those energy. So they don't want you to learn how to do these things for yourself while they're doing it. Now, if you're a religious person, you think that argument don't make sense. But later on down the line in a John Calvin book, the reason it makes sense is because in their mind, they've been running the world. So they seen people who came before you who actually understood how they made the language off the cuneiform and make messages. And they see many people did it out of the sake of their own biases that didn't lead to a good rulership that can maintain even sheep. It led to them getting destroyed or other people or things that's not living right. So this is their reasons of why putting things in the Bible don't get into astrology if these things are demonic. So it's like a lie where it's not saying that getting into these things is demonic. They're coming at it from a point of people who use these things used it for demonic purposes. And since they came up with the word and the meaning what they're pointing to as demonic, in totality, ain't no God write this. Some human wrote it. So it's coming from their bias. So any type of allegory about an oppressor or a demon is just something that's against what they came up with. You know what I'm saying? So it's just something that's against them and their idea in totality of it. But if their idea been working for so long, they can justify their idea to be the right one. So when you read it and you live up under their system in indoctrination, so you use their things to help you with things that ain't even got nothing to do with that. As far as insecurities in your life and needing a mental crutch, you end up ex accepting what they give you on other mental levels. That you shouldn't do that. It puts you into a childish mental state where it allows you to not have a strong mental strength and you end up becoming mentally weak with that muscle. So your comprehension skill become low because before you can observe any form of information or experience it has to go through a filtering system. And that filtering system is whatever helped you with an insecurity or a lack or not or a non know how or non ability which is the shadow government who been there so you shouldn't do so you don't have to do it they created things like science and the bible and stuff so not only do things can't go straight to your solar system the system for your soul to fly in as a spirit individual soul then when it goes in your thoughts and feelings you can get rid of let it go in one chakra and not the other or things you don't agree to them terms and conditions with and allow thoughts and feelings you get from the external world that ain't yours inside that you agree with so it can develop as one of your blood and adrenaline so it can become you because you agree with it and go in your favor and things of that nature now that's on you but when it comes to the shadow government and things of that nature sometimes you receive they got their fart clouds and you think these things is you and stuff like that and then for the most part when you have to when you don't got your own solar system, your own mind, and then you need one of their mental crutches, when you start to experience the world, your comprehension skill is low because it has to go through two forms of filtering system. Your bias, then your solar plexus, your solar system and stuff like that. AKA, it has to go through that filter, that thing that blocks your self because you don't know yourself, you need a mental crutch. So it has to go through that belief you have in that Bible or science then it comes to you to decide if you can agree with it or not. And then a lot of times y'all get confused when you're in that kind of state as a spirit, when something needs to go through two filtering systems because you live in confusion. Because something that helped you in one area of life can, can possibly be in a situation that you're going through in another area in your life that it don't help. And then you have to deal with that situation purely with your own mind. 
And then when you're trying to use the other filtering system that it don't work for, you get confused on which one to pick. And this is how you lose yourself because you don't know yourself. So you end up having to binge watch things online or, or get back into that thing that helped you with something that don't got nothing to do with that other thing that it can't, that it can't filter through. And then that puts when anytime a spirit in that space, it don't matter what they believe in this, where the, the energy or the first thought forms of awarenesses of consciousness dissonance come from, you know what I'm saying? Just like Cain is the first murder thought, that space that you in right there is the first consonant dissonance thought. And th that name instead of Cain will be a masculine name, consonant dissonance. Because you experience in something that through your solar plexus that your filtering system couldn't help you with. But you have nothing else to run to because you need a mental crutch. You need that Jesus. You need that Bible. You need that science. You need that quantum field. So when you try to compare and contrast, you can't make it make sense. But you're going to go to the more comfortable filtering system. So you don't even trust your own to, to intuition. You trust Jesus. You don't even trust your own twist intuition. You, tr you trust that neuron Big Bang crashing first. You don't even trust your own intuition. You trust Galilea and that science first or some master that you worship that's in Pan-Africanism or Aboriginal. So for the most part, now you this is the space that develops consonant dissonance. Because even if it don't make sense, you're going to use something for that filtering system to justify what don't make sense in your own self chakras, mental form to making it to, to justify something or make that debate or argument with what you're experiencing outside of you. And everything that you say is not going to be sounded and it won't make sense either because you're pulling something from an area that don't apply in the area that you're in at the moment, but the consonant dissonance energy that develop, you're going to blind you from seeing that. Because you don't understand that whatever that you're using in the first place is not purely genuine. You started to use it because of something else in your life based on a lack or vulnerability or insecurity or a non-ability or a non-know-how. So since your grandmother was poor, that's why you got in Christianity. And then you found the scriptures in the Bible that help you with dealing with being poor as an insecurity. So your preacher ministry may be different than someone else who had a different background. So when you go somewhere else trying to trying to wake other people up, you might got good intentions, but you ain't going to know how to wake people up. You're going to think they're demons. But your scriptures you're only focused in is through your own mind that need a mental crutch. You and being broke with your grandmother. But you're using the Bible and all the things it come with. And plan the face of it as a form of trying to wake someone else up because you think that it can it can help people out of their traumas. But the scriptures you're going to go to only helps you with your traumas. It's not going to help that person with their traumas. So instead of you arguing with that person about them not seeing something in a Latin way with the words, you ain't doing enough shadow work and you're lost in the and you're lost in the world. Because if you did enough shadow work, you will realize I'm using something that helped me in my personal life that ain't had nothing to do with this book. So for me to cast this stone, even if I'm doing it in a positive way with good intentions, I st I'm still a failure of using the human brain. And I'm a reprobate minded. And, I and this book only supposed to be used for self, not as a stone or a sense of pride or a sense of a sword. It's only made for me. And I should never be in a position where I'm using it as a sword or a debate. And that's strike number one, because everybody have to find their own scripture that helped their own trauma of, from a Jew that went through something similar to them to have that in the book. And when you come to that conclusion, that's when I can respect you if you're a religious person, because you actually walk in the God journey and you actually walk in the positive uh, journey that the positive Jews was walking in that try to convey the positive messages in it. You're understanding it now. Now, when you are reprobate, you get lost into people who used it and then the bad Jews that used it and then ways that they had to use it by default that appear to be negative because a low hanging fruit don't know how to go outside and observe the universal law for themselves. You get lost in all the rhetoric of it. And so you're so lost into the sauce. It don't matter if you got a good heart, you're doing something out of good nature. It's a method to your madness or not. You still a reprobate spirit just by the mind state and how you're developing your concepts to go about things. This is why grandma could be very wrong, but you know, grandma had a good heart. 
Same difference. You know what I'm saying? So this is like the circumstance that they got y'all lost in this world at such a deep level in the psyche that before you even argue with someone, you have to do enough shadow work yourself to know the area where we all created our organs, musically, gas, and liquid. So you can know that true space that you could develop the right thought feelings, liquid and gas, that can brought for everybody to understand at all percentage levels and then bring it into the solid and therefore that will be a way to uh be a representation how to help everyone. Hold on. My motherfucking point. Yeah. So once you do that shadow work, before you even argue with someone, you won't have to argue with them because you'll know what ladder to come in and how to come to them. And therefore, you will you'll always know how to find a universal law or God because you will always be able to create some agreeable or d agree to disagree or good terms and conditions energies. So you're closer to God. You're using a more universal light than everyone else. And God ain't that universal light. Don't get that confused. The universal light is is just what I said. It's the words you use. Universal, united. That's all of our verses together. All of our chakras, our minds together. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's universal. And that made a light. So all of our minds together is the thing we can be in search where we can find thoughts in that area that we all can agree with when we express it through our individuality. So that's through the wind, the atmosphere and stuff like that. So that's the universal light. You know what I'm saying? The universal mind, all of our minds together, every species, every spirit and every particle, everything. You know what I'm saying? God ain't got nothing to do with that. God is nothing. The term God is something you pull from the universe. We make God possible. All of us as spirits becoming aware made the subconscious world. Unconscious becoming subconscious and the subconscious made the conscious. So that's unconscious, seven, eighth and ninth dimension. Then when we when we became aware, we created the subconscious. So we create the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension out of nothing. And then since we are aware of that, we're trying to make the seventh, eighth, and ninth dimension something. But it's so scattered. There's only a sun and moon there. And it ain't no sun and moon. It's just the concept that all the ability that all spirits have, the ability to externalize and internalize. And when we have an awareness, that creates a form itself. So that's the gas accumulating and us creating the uh, fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, the mental world and things of that nature. And then, therefore, that's the ghost world, the holy ghost world. And then the more we accumulate, make micro versions inside of what we already did, we make the solid world, one, two, and third dimension. So it's from the inside out. The solid world is in the inner circle. The fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension is the outer circle, the gas and the liquid. And the, the uh, seventh, eighth, and ninth dimension is nothing. We're trying to make something out of it. So this cause expanding the universe. But every time we expand the universe, we just make a bigger ram of the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, and it condenses into more geographical location and atmospheres into the solid world, one, two, and third dimension. So we create everything from the inside out. So invisible um, becomes the bigger form. Invisible becomes the micro transition. How we made the bigger invisible form. So what's visible to us is the forms we create inside of it. And that'd be the solid. And then the invisible is the um, gas and liquid, four, fifth, and sixth dimension. And the unconscious is just nothing. This is the seventh, eighth, and ninth dimension. But when you could become aware, we got concepts internalizing, externalizing. Externalizing, you make a mind. Internalizing, you get trapped in your own mind. So it's spiritual death, physical birth getting trapped into a mind, uh, and then physical death, spiritual birth, getting out of that form, information, that form you was inside of, that mind, and it, it expires, and as a spirit, you take them same abilities and create another awareness, another mind, and then it bend in and become an organ and a body, and then this is the transition mechanism of the world. So in a solid world, we're in it. We got the body right here, right? Then you got the gas and liquid, fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. You see the transitions, right? You see steam. You see clouds. You see the sun and the moon and stuff like that. Then you got the seventh, eighth, and ninth dimension. It don't exist. There ain't nothing out there. So you think it's just dark. This is all the colors together as a mechanism, making the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. Then we see the separations of it in duality and polarization, us being in a solid world, one to a third dimension. So we see the spectrums, but we also see how the spectrums and the binding systems happen. It happened based on the fusion, friction, and pressure of the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, the gas and liquid. So when it makes fusion and friction, micro, macro, we see an accumulation in the solid world, and then we see it play out on a lower, slower, vibrational, timely state. And we get to experience the... Uh, visible micro versions of it 
So that's what the world is. It ain't nothing else. Don't get lost. What's going down? Hey, Flight Boss, how you doing? Flight Pretty Boss simple. here. <laughs> I have uh, really been uh, truly thankful, you know what I'm saying, that you have come out with so much content in the world for us to connect to because I feel like so much different, you know, ways of how how you say, you know, how people move, how, how you know, Masons, Jews, Jesuit intellect, all that, the Masonic art. It's like, you know what I'm saying, so real and like you have brought us up, you know what I'm saying, to really listen to the to the uh to the attention of how they move, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, you know, like you were talking about earlier, like, you know, whether you're working a job or, or whether you're in a relationship or whatever, it's just uh you like the little bitty thing that you do that you think that can please them or you you know what I'm saying it doesn't or if you learn what their rules are and how they and how how you move especially dealing with a job you know what I'm saying it can uh it can make you feel like you're taking 10 steps back but then when you learn something you know what I'm saying like they do but then you move a different way or move faster you know what I'm saying and they, they try to tear you down and build you back oh you're doing a great job or oh I love you and all this all kind of stuff when you're dealing with a relationship right. then they try to set you up you know what I'm saying with all these, you know what I'm saying, different competitions and stuff that you don't even know that you're even involved in. It's, right. you know, I feel like when you move, you know what I'm saying, different way, even like dealing like with relationships, you know, the, the uh, some of, like, you, you don't know, like when I was young, you know, I did not know nothing about how a Mason or a Jew might think, or, you know what I'm saying, I didn't know any of those things until I started learning from you, you know what I'm saying, I, I really understood now about how, you know what I'm saying, this world and what who what we live in, the water snake being, and how the moon, you know, is, you know what I'm saying, the reflection of the water snake being, and also how we are parts of their cells, just going back, because when I was in school, I wasn't even paying no attention to none of that stuff, you know what I'm saying, about, you know, about nothing, about science or anything, it wasn't until I, you know what I'm saying, started learning from you, it's been approximately about five years, I just, you know, been listening off and on and trying to just get concept, you know what and I'm saying? That's why it's vice versa for me, because I, I don't got a lot of experience in school. I went to school, but not really. So, yeah. so I, I was forced to see those things first. So then getting into right. curriculum and stuff like that, that's what made me start looking at everything that way. Right. Yeah, I really agree with you. You know what I'm saying? You have really, like, changed so much about, you know what I'm saying, the standpoint of how you think this world is even run, you know what I'm saying? First of all, just understanding, no, you know, okay, the earth, the heaven, the, the, you know what I'm saying, the hell, and, you know, thinking like growing up, like you were talking about, you know, in church and stuff, I never paid attention to nothing, you know what I'm saying, that uh, the pastor or the pulpit ministers would get up and speak about when they start hooping and hollering, you watch as a kid, as, you know, uh, as people in the church, whether it be your grandmother or somebody you know or people you meet in the church, you just see as a kid how they stand up when once a pastor starts saying, you know, raising up like, all right now, well you hear me chill, you know, stuff like that, you know, at the end and and stuff like that. You know, it kind of like it was confusing, you know what I'm saying? And now the point from now, yeah, it's like really deep, like what you're talking about. Right. And I said, I'm trying to get everybody out of that circumstance and stuff so we can start having our mind on better stuff. And therefore, the stuff we will even accumulate and manifest will be at a much easier rate. And so we can all work smarter and not harder. Real stuff. Right. I really want to say I appreciate you. Hello to the soul group. And thank you so much. Thank you. from no. the You know what I'm saying? You are truly a gift. You mm -hmm. are the gift. Shout out to Tavia Love, real shit. You are too, real stuff. Shout out to Miss Tavia Love, real stuff. Me feel like I'm in the back of the church right now, getting boogie when the music start coming on, the organ start playing, or doom 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 Oh shit, they about to pass around the little good crackers and stuff. Saltine crackers and cranberry juice. I need double triples. Real shit. I ain't need that to create. Real shit. Real good crackers. And when, when the ceremony is over, shit. Hey, preacher, you got any more crackers left? I had a little crack last little cracker crumbs in a bag. It's the little cranberry. Yeah, you better believe I'm there. Real shit. 
Oh, damn. Well, shit. You need me to clean up anything? Well, shit. My mama said if I clean up something, I can, still, I can stay a half an hour, two hour later. Well, shit. Well, shit. I'm saying everybody's mama and drunk ass auntie sacrificing all the nieces and nephews and, and, and kids and shit to the preacher and shit to clean up afterwards so they go fuck a little bit after church. Oh, is that real shit? Yeah, I know y'all need a little help of hand, make a little sweep and stuff like that. The preacher thinking about it like, yeah, shit, I ain't gotta pay nobody. I ain't gotta pay for no housekeeper here. And, uh, I can't pay this for my goddamn new Ray, Ro, Rolls Royce Wraith in the back with the little ghost angel on the back. Yeah, because yeah, I gotta live in a good. Oh, is that real shit? Use all little kids, nephews, and nieces, and shit like that. Old drunk ass aunties go fuck real good. And shit. I'll say fuck real good by an hour or two like that. Go pick up the kids two hours later at the church. Church all clean and shit like that. The preacher man ain't come out the pocket. Not one damn sitting down and shit like that. A whole collection plate go toward new rims and shit. Oh, sad. Oh, shit. I've seen it all. I've seen it. I've seen it. Motherfucker. Real shit. Cause God damn it, I'm Archangel Uriel. Yeah, like down here, I'm, I only know how to see character and patterns. Uh, that's all I know how to see. Like from the every some day of birth and every eon, I only know how to like learn from character and patterns. I don't, I don't know how to stay constructed in any man sigil that they created, like school and stuff like that. I only know. So it's like I already knew how to build my mind on that. So I only know how to see character and patterns. But as Uriel, U U U since I'm so big. And in the 7th and ninth dimension, my awareness in the 4th, 5th, and 6th dimension, my gas and liquid can spread over. it. Like, it's, half of this world is built off my mental blocks. So in the 1, 2, and 3rd dimension, it's like when I start looking at character and, and motherfucking patterns, that character, that energy in the solid world, it play out through, like, millions of solids. It might play out through millions of people. Like, one character in the gas and liquid world might be, like, a million people to me. Like, it's like one person to me. So it's easy for me to categorize things in my mind. So everything is comprehension to me. Like, I don't necessarily go do no research and learn. Like, I don't even read books and shit. Like, hell with all that shit. I ain't graduate. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. But I got the curriculum. I could go be a goddamn college professor right now. Because, like, thinking like that my whole life, like, I'm like, it's a self-taught. It's based on comprehension. So if your comprehension skills is up, you're able to comprehend like a system, like, okay, this is how I can explain it. It's the best way I can explain it. It ain't, it ain't about you learning multiplication. It's you learning who made up the system. So if you learn a system, it go beyond multiplication. Not only would you know all the multiplication, you will be able to make division or something like that. You see what I'm saying? For an example, a person will have to struggle to be like, oh, nine times five is this. Nine times five is seven is that. But whoever made that up for you to think of it as a gift or talent, it was an ability somebody created. So when you look at the ability first, you see the mechanism. So you ain't even got to never learn what's nine times nine. If you know that, the, if you know the mechanism, what nine do, then before you even learn nine times nine, you will be able to know what nine times nine is just by knowing not what nine times two is. Because you understand the system. You get it? It's like that. That's how life works. But they got y'all living backwards. So that's why when sometimes y'all listen to me, even when I'm arguing with people, y'all might think, damn, Dolo must have spent somewhere just learning all this shit. Well, how do we be knowing things so fast? Man, half of the shit I don't even know. But me knowing how men made linguistics and put the words together, that's my comprehension. So that's what my mind is on. So it, I don't have to specifically know the word. But since I know what, hum, what space humans, humans was in to make words, it don't matter what word it is. I know what's put together. So I automatically know what I'm what this talking about. For an example, a lot of y'all probably never heard psychism before. Like. I don't even know what that is, right? Now, I mean, I, like, I know what it is now, but look, like I'm saying, let's say if somebody would have said psychism to me, I still automatically know what it is. Even like, because I do this with everything. I'm just using this as an example. The first time I ever heard it, I never did no research on it. So every time I do some research on it, it just remind me what I already know. It just remind me what I already said. 
because I know how people put so for an example, psychism, right? All you got to do is know the Latin and Greek linguistic psychism. Anything they add a I S a I S M on is a mechanism. It's, 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 it's a word that they're using to point to something that, that works like a system that works like a machine in nature, right? Anytime they add an ism. So they do that to certain mental forms and physical forms. Then look at the first word, psychism. So that'd be dealing with the psyche. So psychism is just a study about the psyche. So before a person even get into anything, you could explain it anyway. And even if encyclopedia or the definition got a different definition, it's describing what you're saying in a much more easier, less fart cloud, more indoctrinated version. You're doing it in a much more easier version because with anything that get ready to describe is going to be something about the psyche. Now, if your comprehension is high enough, you could put yourself into the space of the shoes of the people who actually study these, even if you're not around them. And become more intelligent than them because you can study it with yourself. Okay, you're gonna be like psychism. So it's only a handful of spaces a spirit could be in to develop any kind of idea. And I'm more intelligent than them if they got a brain. This is how you gotta think, and you know everything. So automatically, the deepest psychism could go is saying that basically everything comes from the psyche. So this would any 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 of their hypotheses will be about the world being created based upon the mind and and trying to separate it from realism. That's it. That's it. Now, when you that wise and then you see them using our tax dollars to create dumb machines to try to prove this hypothesis to be real, then that's when you need to start arguing and debunking shit while, while being in a space where you have such a way of expressing yourself, can't nobody use the word conspiracy theorists against you either. You know I'm saying real shit. Because your mind be focused on the right things because your comprehension skills. So all the thoughts and feelings, the biases that come from that be more in the right perspective. All the polarizations be more on the right. So even when you're wrong, you're still right. For an example, even if China don't use that fake sun to use as the weapons for what America is using as SpaceX, um, but you still know that SpaceX need a weapon for their spaceships. What's a spaceship without a weapon if it's a military, though? So even if I'm wrong, I'm still right based upon my sense of being an adeptus and being a jester that can travel, understanding character and pattern. What, and then the way I look at cat, character, it can play out as multiple people. So when I see the puppets in the world, it's easy for me to see them as Uriel. Because, for an example, that's why I always be saying there's only two minds here. So GJ need to add you. And that's all I say anyway. GJ and you, the, the, G, the G and the J is silent, bitch. It's just you. Uriel is all about me. The first angel that came down here to show you that you got trapped in your first mirror, your first you, your first rainbow, your first thing you created outside of you. Their version of it is Lucifer. Your version of it ain't that. You need to stop that. That's why Uriel is here for with the Uriel chakra. You can make anything out of yours. Just don't get lost in that reflection because that ain't you. That's just your first thing you, you use to, to represent you is yourself. It's yourself, but your spirit created that to give it that concept for you to say, that's mine, mine, that's yours. But you observing you, you observing saying that, you observing what you created. You're not that though, or you wouldn't have made the concept to say that's mine. So don't get lost into thinking your soul is the mind. Sometimes. Your soul create these things. That's our power. We create awareness and that develops into gas, liquid and, and solid, period. There is no other form of life. There, life ain't spooky. Life ain't a conspiracy. Life ain't something we'll never know. And you do it every day. You can go somewhere and cry about something right now. Where did that fluid come from? You know what I'm saying, don't let nobody tell you we don't know how to uh, where things came from. How I know how I, I know how I made organs. And I could build adrenaline in all these areas to remind me how I made those organs. And my mother didn't have to go in her stomach to show me where to put my heart. I was aware in that area to know how to make or So this is something we know as awareness that's beyond the, the conscious level y'all be getting stuck in in the solid world as awareness. Because the shadow government got y'all so lost into these chakras, crown chakra and first eye, third eye chakra, that bend in to become the organs of the brain and stuff like that. They start to play in reverse down here and play out like kneecaps and stuff because it did the tra it started here so it did the transition last so it was last shall be first was first shall be last which is why Saturn and Sun rules the kneecaps and the shin but 
They got y'all lost in this brain so much and all of these brains, all these chakras, all these minds that bend in and became these organs as brains above the waist is the left brain, the logic, the, the organs that can't be up under the bathtub water. Your chakras that was heavier, that was below the, that made the lower organs, that could be up underwater all day. You know what I'm saying? So you get born through your lower chakras and die through your higher chakras. And the organs we made with the lower chakras is the dick and the pussy. And the organs we made with the higher chakras is the brain and the heart and all this stuff. Now, for the most part, here's the thing. Uh, they got y'all lost in the left brain. Chakras and the chakras that bend in and became the brain. So in order for you to, under, to understand your other intuitions, because you'll get lost into describing intuition and then start talking about chakras and, and don't think that these days the same thing. So you Western Hemisphere thought also you can have better ways to explain stuff. So look, when you uh, when they got you only figuring out what's going on with your other chakras and brains through the filtering system of one of them, this brain and chakra, you're going to lack knowledge. Because every time you try to figure out other things going on, your gut feelings, your heart feelings, your gut shot, your other chakras, your other brains, you're trying to figure it out through this brain and chakra. And that's going to lack intuition and lack knowledge. And the shadow government, uh, this what makes them retarded, too, and stuff like that, because they make y'all think this one is the most important when you make the heart first. So they're going to make you think that that one is the most important. So you you're going to lack percentage level of having a know-how or an ability anytime your spirit is in your other chakras. So they only know how to make you take your root chakras to your head. So you only know how to only see things through filtering systems of your desires, passions, uh, your attention, your stability, your fucking, your eating, your sexual energies, your sexuality. And when these things not met, this is why you able to cry so much all the time and, and be in those adrenalines. So y'all keep mentally being in those Luciferian mind states that they got y'all following. And you make these similar organs with teamwork makes the dream work because it's the universe is not a respect of a person and respect of a team. So y'all, they keep having y'all make their kind of demonic organs. And that's basically the concept of reincarnating, creating the same concept of living up under their system again. No matter what race you come back in. So it all boils down to that. I'm saying real shit. But it's the last one I would do with y'all. So where's the smoke? You know what I'm saying? As far as the uh, secret watchers and shit like that, you aboriginals. I'm going to start roasting y'all now. You aboriginals, you goddamn it, uh, spank monkeys, uh, uh, pan Africans. And stuff like that. Uh, you goddamn it, uh, motherfucking, um, all you smack monkeys and shit like that. Where the hell you at? Because we're getting late in the day. Real oh, shit. I feel like I'm just talking now. What's going down? Oh, shit. You said you want the smoke. <laughs> See, I don't want no smoke. Uh, oh, no. I don't, you, you would talk right after you, though. <laughs> okay. I don't want no smoke. But, um, yeah, you know, I'm just vibing and shit, listening to you and shit. So, one part of the conversation you was talking about, you was like, Basically, big shit popping, little shit stopping, and I'm fucking with that. Right. How I feel, cause like I do makeup, and so I've been doing makeup like cosmetics, but this year I started to do like permanent makeup tattooing, cause I was like big shit popping, little shit stopping. Basically, right. like, I could be making a hundred dollars a face, or I could be making five fifty per a set of eyebrows. Right. That's basically where I'm going. You know what I'm saying? So I feel you, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We all gotta play big right now, and then we all gotta be in that space of creating something new, especially with that Uranus being a Taurus and everything. So you on the right track already. And you ain't doing nothing but being an example for others how to step their game up. Because people playing small right now, they scared. They like might be looking at their gifts and talents like oh people might not like it that much. Oh, I'm charging too much. Oh, I'm not gonna get it. That all oh, that's weak energy. God damn it, put it to the test and let the universe show you. Don't be scared about a little bit of rejection or no that don't mean it ain't gonna work next time or with the next person keep motherfucking going and you will see how much that rejection energy develop into more productive shit and shit that go in your way but people are scared to go through that little shit so that's why they ain't even in a position to be a boss at the moment to even make decisions like you and stuff like that motherfuckers gotta know how to get on a one too real shit I ain't gonna lie rejection it's gonna take you to the next level 
Hell yeah. When I was starting off doing makeup, I got rejected so much. I got criticized so much to to the point where I used that energy and I was like, okay, so you going to choose that makeup artist over me, but well, I'm going to get so so good, you know what I mean? I'm going to work on my skill. I'm going to get so good to where by the time you come knocking on my door, I'm going to be too booked to take you. Oh, and that's literally how it went down. Like it took Right, that's how yeah, rejection is powerful. It let us it let us focus on everything we need to adjust, shit we ain't know we was focused on, shit we ain't even know that was there, stuff that we didn't even know we had to shape up and stuff and stuff that probably could remind us that we could have better better off doing. It could go in so many different ways, but goddamn it, we need to look at it like that's a gift, not a goddamn curse in this motherfucker. Especially even when it comes to relationships. A lot of times it'll leave people crying and stuff like, why does a person do me like that? Not even knowing that shit. God just saved your goddamn life. Yeah. You need to be looking at that situation at that moment, taking all those time frames of peace and stuff that you need to see it as peace, not depressing, as abilities that God get ready to give you to the point that that person going to come crawling back like Lassie or Big Red Rover or something like that real shit. <laughs> and listen to y'all out there listening. Don't let, like, if you get, cho if somebody else gets chosen over you, especially in business, don't be a hater. Just look at it like, okay, either one, you still got some growing to do, or two, she is study the person and see what they got going on and see how you can improve. Fuck it. Just study them. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Great like, advice. Yeah, you know, there was other makeup artists, especially like years ago when I first started off, there was so many other people getting chose over me. And I was just like, damn, you know, to the point where now those same makeup artists who used to get chose over me, they be throwing me clients. They be like, damn, fee, like I'm too booked. Like, I trust you. You good. Like, can you take these folks? And then they'll send their clients over here. And now them clients locked in with me. You know what I'm saying? That's why you can't be a hater out here. You know what I'm saying? Just right. Like, keep improving you know yeah that, that build a negative a fart cloud face card too you know what i'm saying it, it could be all kind of openness and blessings real stuff yeah. and because a lot of times we be so much in our ego sometimes we think some hating when someone not saying nothing at all too and then we can talk too much and ruin our opportunities because sometimes we have to especially that's why it's good to be in astrology into astrology because knowing every temperament sometimes we might come across a person that's more not saying anything and we might be looking for that and we might turn that into like oh this person a hater like the people that do say things and then if we do express ourselves to that person in that manner give them that animosity fart cloud who knows that person might have been thinking like oh that's the person i want to give all the clients to and stuff like that because i like them but they came at me the wrong way i didn't know why why they coming at me like that so yeah that's it's always good to be open and stuff like that and everybody and give everybody respect to their energies especially if you don't even know a person's energies yet so don't be in our own ego and stuff being a search for things that may not necessarily be there and don't be no hater and your face card is good even when it comes to the haters they even turn around yes i like that because i think that our ego always be looking for constant validation you know what i'm saying and so like when you do makeup when you cut hair when you you know work with the public so closely you do encounter different energies and everybody is different you know what i'm saying like like everybody's different. Like, okay, for each season, like right now we're in Leo season. We're about to go into Virgo. Leo, Virgo season. So all the Virgos be coming with the same energy, but they're all different. You know what I mean? So like with me, I've always been like dibbling and dabbling into astrology, but when I Virgo's started, a lot like Aries. I feel like, okay, so let me let me tell you what I think about Virgo. You tell me if you agree. Okay. So I feel like Virgos are all about perfection. I feel like they're very critical. They will criticize you with love if they fuck with you. Okay. And my clients, like during Vir Virgo season, when I have Virgo clients, like they will, they are very, they're super into perfection. Like a lot of my clients, and, and Aries, no, you right. Because my Virgo and Aries clients, they know exactly what the fuck they want. Don't take them left. Okay, if they say they want a red lip, it better not look like pink. It better not look like orange. It better right. be spot on fucking red. Okay, Virgo. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Like instead of perfection, I like the word being real particular. Yeah. Because it, 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 it's hard to be perfect. And I know we like that because I know that's how we see it. We want so to be, and then that just makes us narcs though. Like, so we real particular. But, uh, but yeah, go ahead. My bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, 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 for real. I, okay, so you Aries. So don't take it personal. 
but y'all can be very bossy and but at the same time like i'm gonna be real my virgo i'm not just saying this because you aries but aries and virgo clients have really made me a better artist because they are so particular and if they walk out with a smile on their face aries or virgo then i know i'm good because they not That's what I'm saying. yes they not spending their money their hard-earned money you know other signs they'll throw their money at me you know even if they like you know they feel like something could be tweaked. They'll be like, oh, okay, I love it, even though they really don't. But Aries and Virgo will not fucking play with me like that. They'll be like, listen, I told you I didn't want that. And I'll be like, okay, okay, my bad. You know what I mean? But if they walk out with a smile on their face, I know I did a damn good job. I could have 10 clients that day. But if I have a Virgo or Aries client and they're happy, baby, I feel like I'm the best makeup artist in the world because they don't want <laughs> They don't yeah, want yeah, that's real shit. Yeah, it's it's like a weird archetype because the re it's like an astrological angle, but it, it start with astronomy first and things of that nature. That's why they so much alike, uh, um, because when we get to the first half and the last half of a horizon, they that's the common energy that they share. They just play it out in different ways and stuff like that. So it's like that below the horizon, Pisces and Libras is alike, but in their own way. But in in, in in the Vir but in the Virgo and Aries aspect, they're a lot of like in their own way though and things of that nature and what makes them alike is that they control the pillar of the above the horizon so they're always self-aware aries and this what makes virgos and aries alike this specific thing maybe not the fire and earth but this where they blend in well with the earth and fire because they both aware so they this is their conversation how they come together too they always is focused on things that no one else is focused on, especially when it comes to the inner signs of both horizons. Like when it comes from Taurus to um, Taurus to um, Leo or from Scorpio to Aquarius, they uh, they they look at them like not as aware and things of that nature and always be trying to find something wrong. Now, if you the lower octave Virgo and Aries is is you acting out that energy. But the reason is negative is because you're always trying to look for something wrong. And every now and then that can inspire someone else who too goofy in their life from a person like that sometimes. But then they, they will open that gate for that Virgo and Aries to always be the person to feel like they have to give their two cents to them. And then after a while, they start getting frustrated with that Virgo and Aries because they'd be like, yeah, I like what you did. But now you making yourself seem like you control me and you got to control my decisions about things. Just because one or two times I asked you for your advice and I gave you that energy like it was extremely good doesn't mean I want you to have in your mind like this your golly mission. Sometimes Virgos and Aries put people in that position in their life. You know, and, and the Virgo and Aries got to back off a little bit. The way we be a friend is too strong too opinionated because we be trying to be aware of everything but if we in our lower octave we ain't being aware of everything not we being aware we just trying to find negative shit so aries and virgos got to learn how to stop doing that but if they the higher octave these is good good examples aries and virgo because you could you could peep them from a distance and be like this person is doing things that i need to start doing in my life why ain't i doing that virgos and aries always inspire people like that hell yeah that's ex i feel that i feel that um I mean, I feel like with Aries and Virgo, with that particularness, with that, it's like, to me, as a Sagittarius, I look at it like, these are people who know exactly what they want. Like, as a Sagittarius, I can kind of be like, I mean, I know what I want, but I can be persuaded. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, they got to have a purpose behind and a meaning. Yeah. yeah. Or, or it's going to start feeling like you in a cage and suffocate yeah. you. I got to get out of here. Get yeah. to some spiritual shit and get back to some a purpose behind it. Ain't no purpose. I can't find myself in it. And that's why Sagittarius has helped Virgos and Aries. That they need that. They need that energy because sometimes we could get so rutted in reality what's on our mind. Y'all give it purpose. Sagittarius give it purpose. Like, like y'all gotta relax. See it from this way. See it from that way. See it from this way. This makes it more intelligent. Just when y'all on y'all own, sometimes I might it might lead into being indecisive too much. But but that's helpful for other people when y'all the higher octave. When it, a lower octave Sag could be extremely indecisive, but think that they're decisive and both of theirs indecisive. So it's <laughs> almost like a cake and eat it too energy and they don't see nothing wrong with it. But at the same time, when they the higher octave and stuff, they can help other people out with that and tell people to relax and give people better ways and better meanings to go about what we already going about. 
That's that's why Sagittarius is his bosses. Sagittarius can't be no employee or under too many circumstances too long. It feel like a cage. It feel like smothering. If Sagittarius ain't giving an order or doing something with a purpose, it got a meaning behind it. That's the only way they would even allow someone to use them. It got to have a purpose where it's some and some spiritual and some interest in it. If, if it ain't got that in it, it you forget even being used that ain't even an idea you know what i'm saying because the first idea is to be the boss but that's the only way a sagittarius we even decide to stay in a situation up under somebody real long gotta have something to do with god behind it god told him that it got the money behind it and and i could find my little position in this area to still be the boss somewhere if not you'll never catch the sag there i can i can feel that um I feel in my life, you know, I have been pushed out of situ like jobs and organizations. Like um, when I tell people I'm self-employed, they're like, wow, you're so lucky. First of all, it's pros and cons to everything. Okay, that. pros and cons to everything. Let me just say that. And two, like I tried to work, like I tried to get a job, but it was like I was just almost forced out. You know what I mean? I was in the military for five years. Um, I worked... I had plenty of jobs. I had engineering jobs um, after the military. I was an engineer in the military. Um, I did beauty jobs, out, you know, after that. And it just kind of, all of those things just kind of pushed me to be self-employed. But I always tell people, um, like a lot of my associates, um, they work jobs and they're like, oh, I wish I was like you. You know, I wish I worked for myself. I'd be like, listen. You get PTO, you could call off. I can't do that. Okay. <laughs> like y'all, you know what I'm saying? It's it's pros and cons to both. You know what I mean? Right. Like, work for yourself. Yes. You know, you can kind of set your own standards and your own policies and stuff like that. But I feel like working for myself, um, I'm, I feel like I'm working 24 seven. Like even after my business hours, uh, I'm still working. Like if my phone's ringing and people need services, like I still have to be available. You know, when you clock in and clock out, if your boss, if you clock out at seven and your boss calls you at seven thirty, you 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 know what I mean. You don't have to answer. But if I put my brushes down at seven and a client calls me at eight, I'm just like, girl, pull up. You know what I mean? Like you know, you know. So it's pros and cons to both. But um, yeah, I'm glad you said it's pros and cons because with that Sagittarius energy. People who ain't Sagis sometimes will look from a distance and think Sagis is lucky, but it don't be that. It's pros and cons because the thing is, what makes Sagittarius and they rule by Jupiter, sometimes they by default subconsciously, the Sagittarius traits play out the energy everybody's supposed to play out, aka it don't matter if you got a job or not. The purpose behind it, where is that money going? And the Sagittarius trait is natural with that. They don't even participate with nothing if it ain't no purpose. So that goes to jobs and the money got to go towards either producing for the job or keeping things running. The average individual don't even be thinking like that a lot of times. And that's something we all supposed to be doing. But when the Sag be doing their natural nature, every now and then a person from a distance would think the Sag is, is lucky and they might develop weird hatred energy where really that's perfect what you said. It's pros and cons coming live from a Sagittarius mouth. That yeah. person don't understand. Nah, it ain't got nothing to do with luck. It's just the trait of Sagittarius sometimes by default do things that everybody's supposed to be doing anyway. If you go and do something, Add back into it. Take that money for a purpose. Don't just be doing things purposeless or you'll just be working for your bills. Yes, definitely. Yes, working for your bills. Do you feel like, like, do you do you joke a lot or are y'all more serious? Because my Aries clients, like, I be joking with them and they be like, they be so we, serious. And I be like, girl. Oh, yeah, we probably got the joke. We just, we more into sinister joking. You like, yes. so I, so, so if you probably said a joke about something normal, we got it, but it, we did probably know where to add on. Now, if it was a joke about somebody dying or some shit like that, and, and then we could see that you didn't care as much, or we could add on to it all day, because that we don't care all day about that type of stuff. So now we feel more free. We Then you get all the Sagittarius Leo type stuff from the in the Aries way. But if it's something that's just surface and it ain't sinister, uh, we get it, but we just don't know how to add on to it. Because we don't know how a person might care about it. Like, it was real individual. Aries is real individual. So we like, I don't even want to make this person be excited, happy, or negative about it. I, I just want this person to handle their own feelings. And I'm going to handle my own feelings and stuff. But if it's something sinister, and it's something that a person dealt with within themselves, so I don't got the pressure of 
whatever I say, this person is influenced and got to feel negative or positive. They can still have their own mind. Um, rock is, I'm gonna add on all three. I'm cursed out the grandma that's dead too and shit. Real <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how Aries is. It's like, they got to be sinister though. Yeah, so that let us know you dealt with something on your own emotionally. So we don't have to feel guilty. However, we express ourselves in any way that anybody else might feel a way about it. That then that's what make Aries feel fully free. Okay, okay, yeah, because uh, I I can see that. Um, I have had some Aries clients that sit in my chair, and man, they be saying some crazy shit. It be funny, but I just be like, oh my god, you mean as fuck, like you mean as fuck. But I can see that. And so me being lighthearted and joking with them, they be looking at me like, girl, shut the fuck up. But I just be like, why are you so serious? Like, loosen up. Um, yeah. I can kind of get that from Virgos, too. But I feel like Virgos, they'll laugh at my jokes faster than an Aries. <laughs> That's just how I feel. I don't know, but um, yeah, yeah, y'all got like, like Sagittarius and and, and uh, Leo. Y'all do the Aries, but be- y'all do the Aries energy in a better way. So y'all like more relatable. And then sometimes in an Aries mind, if we ain't laughing, sometimes it might be because jealousy. Like man, how they can like say something the way I'm saying it, but ain't nobody laughed the way we did it. I ain't gonna laugh at nobody else. Then that might have been the mind that the Aries was in too. Like for real, Aries, we like we be to ourselves. Like for real, like in the mind. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. And, and the reason, and then when we be negative to other individuals, sometimes in our minds, it ain't negative. In our minds, it's like freeing up the room. So if we like pent up and quiet and stuff, it's because the, the room don't match our freedom type energy. So we can't wait to someone to make a joke about themselves or something like that. So we make jokes about them too, or make jokes about ourselves because we feel like we already dealt with that with ourselves, our insecurities. So if we're around others who haven't dealt with that. We don't want to affect nothing at all. We might get quiet. If we start seeing people opening up about themselves in ways that will appear to be an insecurity to the average low part person minded we'll feel free so we'll start to add on in that situation and loosen up in the most extreme way okay and and say the most extreme sinister stuff because we know everybody can handle their own emotions and stuff like that but anytime we in an environment that's not like that we might try to force it to be like that by being the leader in the situation and an example so we might be goofy even if we real serious we we might still we might even allow a person to test us to, to make an example, but we will play out lighthearted energy and make ourselves look goofy and express all of our insecurities to make other people think we being naive and foolish. But we not. We trying to see from a distance who else get ready to do it. And then that's going to let us know who in this kind of ego, who who looking at us in this kind of way that deep down we ain't. And we can't wait till we cross that line to make them an example. And then that's when a person don't know how intelligent we are based upon our action, not knowing that our actions be premeditated because we already dealt with our own emotions already. We be trying to test to see how everybody else did. And when people don't, we find ways to, to gain authority in every every situation. So at the end of the event, we run the mental control of the room, whether we the manager or not. That's how Aries think. I see what you're saying. So basically, Aries is like, they'll... Let me see. We child it in an adult way. We we we'll throw a rope out and see who catch it. And and no matter how ridiculous we gotta make the rope look based upon trying to observe people's character and how lost they are in their desires, but a person made it seem like that's what's making them think they're better than somebody. So it so it's like a competition and in a weird way that kind of negative, it shouldn't be that way. But we kind of be thinking we'd be helping humanity, like, for some reason. Like, we'd be trying to sh- uh, show a person themselves is helping humanity. But it's really, we negative. That's kind of negative when you look at it. Y'all is a little negative. But I love Aries because I feel like y'all bring new ideas. I feel like the fire starts with y'all. I feel like y'all, <laughs> I like that y'all kind of have this only child kind of thing going on like y'all it's like know. the devil almost it's like the devil coming as the angel it's like it's like we we'll sit back and see your desire and then we we'll, then your desire is like a kid so then we we'll act like the, that desire to see how far you're gonna go to that desire so the desire can look like a smile or whatever you think that toy is and as soon as you get close to it boom you turn into the devil see why you like this why is this that a third why is this see you flunked out this that a third and then the whole time you'll be thinking that the aries is retarded though 
but the Aries is watching. The Aries is seeing what desire is you lost in. So the, the Aries will play out each of those desire to see how far you're willing to go to, to make a judgment what possibilities and capabilities this kind of person got. And therefore, the Aries can protect their space because the very the Aries always thinking about their space, not getting invaded. So sometimes we know we live in this world. So sometimes we got to see because some people get real manipulated. So all we got all we see is character. It's the first house. We we like the peep character. But since it's the I am sign, we play that character. We peep it. So if we have, if we're around a bunch of retarded people, we'll be more retarded. In our mind, we trying to see how far a person gonna go. How far this person think they can do with me? If they think they uh, over me in this retarded world, or whatever. Then when we get everybody in that pot and they desires. Get ready to be a vampire to think they about to get wet at the end of the night to be like, I'm a good person or I did this or to this person or whatever like that. Boom. The Aries be like, oh, you ain't shit. Boom, boom, boom. You ain't shit. And at that point, I'm over everybody. You know what I'm saying? You better not come with that shit tomorrow. And help me out with something. You know what I'm saying? I can see that. I have an Aries client that's been my client for years. She, bear she even though she loved my work, it's like she don't trust me, but I feel like she be testing me. You know what I mean? Like she'll be looking and she'll be like, I don't like it. And I'll be like, listen, it Aries client, this is the same look that we did last time and last year and the year before that. It's the same look that you want. And then she'll be like, oh, okay, I was just, I was just voicing my opinion. I'd be like, look, listen, or like she'll book for 8 a.m. and then pull up at 7 a.m. And I'd be like, what is you doing outside? But, you know, professionally. And I'd be like, right. hey, your appointment's not till eight. How can I help you? And then she'll be like, well, I thought I booked at seven. And I'd be like, well, you booked at eight, so I'm not quite ready. You know, or I still have a client in the chair. And then she'll just sit there, sit there the oh. entire hour. Won't go get she no be a sinister. She'd be a sinister. Yes. I'm just like, and I can feel it. I can feel it. And yeah. Like, oh, it's her. But she, 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 she tried to make her decision off the character other than the reality of the hand first. Yep, yeah. that's what you're doing. Yes, and I can feel it. I'll just be like, Aries client, what's up, man? Like, yeah, and females plan out differently than the males, but they're planning out the same thing. So what, what she's doing in a female way is how Aries male probably would do it. To make this like an example, like we have played a we have play out the desire that somebody have like a toy. So let's say one of the desires is is money to somebody. So if the Aries got some money, the Aries will play that fool. Just to see, so the person to be thinking the whole time, oh, the Aries is retarded. Oh, I could rock them to sleep or something. The Aries in their mind is thinking, let's see how lost this person is in that desire when I hang, when I dangle this to make them think that's a possibility or whatever like that. Then when that person get, when that person gets so wet to think that, oh yeah, the Aries stupid, I'm gonna do this. The Aries don't know what's going on. Then the Aries intelligence click on once they got them. Then once it be like, all right, boom, this is all you was here for. You a negative person. You can't do this to nobody else. Can't ever do this to me again. You a devil? Go to hell, bitch. Oh, I say real shit. Aries be hard for real, like. It's that so that's what that's what she doing. She reading the character, and that's how she gonna make the decision if if she wants you to if she was doing if you was doing her hair or not. If, I don't know how the case may went. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Yes, I I can see that. I can definitely see that. I feel it, it's like that. evil, but it's an angel. But it's a it's an Aries thinking they being an angel. Angel, but it's really kind of evil a little bit if you kind of look at it like so. They, they, that's if they're a little octave though. They got to get out of that. If they're higher octave. They get out of that. They'd be more genuine. But here's the thing: when you come across a higher octave. Active Aries and they be genuine. Sometimes situations force them to be lower octave again because they be naive again. They start feeling like, oh, I shouldn't be open because people rock me to sleep. Let me start observing people's characters again. Oh, I need to because I can't be free like everybody else. I keep getting rocked to sleep. Yo, that's so it's like it, it's, it get caught in between worlds. Yo, that's her because okay, so I told you like she don't trust me. You know, she been coming to me for years, but she still feel like I'm gonna play her and make her look bad. It's because somebody played her before yeah but that's she always Aries great and she don't understand i'm like baby i want you to be the baddest i want you to look so good when you leave here that i want you to get all the compliment i want you to feel good but even though i be like i give her that energy she still be looking at me with the airy side eye like 
the fuck? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Aries got that big trust issue. Yup, that's yes. that's exactly what it is. Yes. Because if you come across an Aries that's older in life and they still naive, they didn't go through a lot of experiences because that naive energy they were supposed to express that early enough in life amongst their age group to to show them that you still you still gotta have some boundaries and stuff. You can't be too free because everybody's not gonna look at you in the way that you're trying to control the situation and things of that nature. So Aries always get taken advantage of by being open so much which would take them down that line of reasoning of being so sinister because it's like survival it's like a, a sense of i gotta protect my space and it's the only way i can protect my space because i can't be too open because everybody personality ain't like that and then that's what make an aries be like and, and think in their mind what they doing ain't negative but it kind of is evil but it really what they be doing is just to protect themselves but if they could get around people where they don't have to do that anymore an aries would give the world to everybody because Aries don't make money and, and build situations for themselves. Aries has already got themselves together. They could go somewhere in the woods by themselves and not need nobody. So anything Aries do be for others and things of that nature to prove to others they can keep they can do this for themselves. That's the Aries model. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't necessarily about being selfish. I could see that. Yeah, I could definitely see that. With and this is just a client. This is not a friend. This is not somebody I talk to on a regular. But just being close to her, doing her face, hearing some of the stories that she shares, I could definitely see that she is a. Um, and just to, well, I don't need to back up what you're saying. I know you know what the fuck you're talking about. But just to, uh, I guess, solidify whatever, she is a single woman with no children. And she literally takes care of damn near everybody around her. Like her sister has multiple children. She's the auntie. You know, she takes care of the mama. You know what I mean? Because she is she right about, there. all about that cash. So, you know, she. she even bought, same with me. Yeah, she definitely brought her sister and paid for her sister to get her makeup done. You know what I'm saying? Like she'll bring people and, you know, pay for them to get their makeup done. She is, you know, very. Uh, lucrative you know what i'm saying always thinking about the next dollar oh like she's a hustler you know what i'm saying and that's something that like just being around her i'm like i can appreciate that um and i look up to her for that you know she inspires me but she can get a little sinister i ain't even gonna lie she can get she can get real aries okay but i feel like that is i feel like okay so if aries if that's big with aries the yeah, Sagittarius got it too. Scorpios, they got a little bit. Yes, I, I was just gonna say, I can feel that in my Sagittariusness. I can feel that because sometimes I will play the fool to catch a fool. Um, sometimes I will sit around somebody just to see like how far they're gonna go or what you know. What I'm saying what what are they gonna say? And a lot of people around me don't understand it. They'll be like, if they doing something you don't like, then why you keep you know why you sit around them? Why you being around them? Because it's like I just be. I, to me, it's like a psychological experiment. I just be wanting to see how far people are going to go, how, what they're going to say, what triggers right. them. You know what I'm saying? Type of thing. Yeah, I like to get all that out the way so I can know yeah, what I'm working yeah, with. Yeah, just get all that out the way so I can see what the fuck going on for real, you know? So, uh, yeah, I could definitely see that. But Aries is really big. Like, I feel like Aries is right in your face with it. They don't give a fuck how you feel with it. And, like, so as you go on down, you know, the the zodiac because you know aries is first so as you go on down like it gets less and less extreme because <laughs> aries can be very extreme i feel like aries <laughs> men can be very aggressive and really mean like very like come here girl like i don't know like tell me, tell me. nah nah I, I ain't like that dog the aries aries are softies when it comes to the opposite gender and stuff like that so if they is doing uh, that they trying to they trying to prove something to somebody that's around them if they doing that so that's that's like some lower octave airy shit but usually I, I like to separate the the feminine energy from the masculine energy because because i be so much in the masculine energy so like i, I might be demanding but it ain't no demanding in a negative way like it's a demanding like a security type way in some way shape or form like and then i ain't gonna say nothing if it don't make sense it gotta make sense too or or i ain't doing something right to even be demanding in the first place. Like if I if I'm just being demanding for no damn reason and shit like that, I I probably wouldn't even be with nobody at that point. That's how I kind of think. So yeah. I can see. But that yeah, we've been going for a long minute. I ain't gonna front. We about two hours and fifty minutes in and stuff oh, like that. I'm gonna cut this shit off and shit. But yeah, shout out to Felicia Dot. Real shit. We had a good deep conversation about some astrology. Shout her out. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? That was a good deep conversation though. Real shit. 
Yeah, we about uh eight 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 minutes in. So uh, but gee, I love. Hold on, let me see something real quick. Oh, uh, go ahead. You can say something real quick. I I sent you in there for a minute. I'm gonna what say up, it was man? good. Let me say something real quick. Shit, man. Go ahead. What you got for it? Man, um, it was like a bunch of topics I had to uh, chop it up with you, but I know you about to end it, so I'm gonna just rush through. Like, go ahead. We got a good eight minutes. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So like. Even with that sinister stuff, I feel like that's what all Zodiac songs, bro. Like, it's just the way you explained it with Aries, it makes so much sense because we like to lead with it. You know what I'm saying? We like to lead with that sinister ish. Like, I was thinking, like, yo, Pisces is sinister too. Like, they be nah, like, Pisces and La La Land. Yeah, uh, they they think they, 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 they sinister, but they tell on themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had this friend. He was a Pisces, bro. But he used to lie a lot. You know what I'm saying? So that was real sinister to me. That's why I said like all these zodiacs. Yeah, they, they try to they try to be it's like it's like a uh I, I like to call it a a, a lesser Scorpio energy. Because mm -hmm. I dealt with both in relationships too. So it, it made me look like yeah. it made me look at astrology sometimes, like sometimes they be wrong about Pisces. Like when they be saying Pisces be in dream world or something like that and things, mm -hmm. nah, th it'd be just a person that's ungrounded. Like er everything they be trying to explain, that be la la like dream world yeah. and stuff. Man, all my actual experiences is just a person that was ungrounded. So I'm like, what do people be talking about? I think it'd be people lost in like Neptune energy or something like. But <laughs> Jupiter, Jupiter is the actual ruler, not Neptune. Exactly. Exactly, bro. Even but that, even that's not to say I not to talk down all Pisces. Nah, there's, there's some real <laughs> intelligent Pisces though, and they can be sinister and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But it sometimes the the average Pisces, especially the lower octave one, it's yeah. it's easy to know what they're doing. Word. Know what I'm saying? Like for an example, like like for an example, you got uh Young Buck in G Unit right yeah. now. He, he he his music probably was almost. Probably the next hardest one, next to Fifty Cent. Probably his was what, but like ev all his complaints that he had about G Unit, you could clearly listen and hear how it's his fault somewhere. But him coming out of his mouth, you could see in his mind how he convinced whatever he's saying is true when he blaming Fifty Cent or something like that. But listening to him saying it yeah. out of his mouth, you could poke all kind of holes out, like, how you can't tell this is your fault, or something you ain't, like, you know what I'm saying? And this is that trying to be sinister, where where it seemed like they're trying to change the narrative to make people believe something, but it, but what they're trying to make people believe, sometimes it, it make you scratch your head, like, how do you believe anybody would believe that <laughs> kind of energy? So that's how, I just look at Pisces that sometimes, like, they just ungrounded. Yeah. Uh, I'm fucking with them, though. <laughs> Yeah, just like uh, I was saying, like, that's what all the Zodiac sign. I was getting to in my head, like, yo, Capricorns is sinister because they, they try to manipulate. And yeah. Move, saying, Aquarius. yeah. All the cardinal signs pretty much is sinister. Okay. The cardinal, the cardinal signs, signs had to, they had to do things on their own early in life. So when they lack initiating energy and then they don't have, like, other people in their life around all the time, yeah. They built a whole bunch of chips on their shoulder and resentments. And Libras do it in communication-wise. So lower octave, yeah. they might try to break up happy homes and think it's justified. Yes. Um, Capricorns, they do it in using-wise. They'd be sinister to use a person, but come into the way that make it seem like the, the uh, they're being useful for a person. But really, behind closed doors, be using a person. And the person have to get used all up to realize that the Capricorn wasn't emotionally involved in it. Then the, uh, uh, the goddammit... Um, Aries, we just broke that yeah. down and shit like that, how they could be sinister and the motherfucking right. um, cancer they could be sinister when it comes yeah. to the emotions they use their mood, sometimes they don't even be Most as reactionary and moody as how they express it at times, when they can see that it could be used to make something go in their favor or convince somebody to mm -hmm. do something that they want them to do sometimes they express an ex extreme mood and distaste for something that deep down inside they don't even really feel that deeply about it but if but if they can see as people around them like family that that mood can make them do something for them they express that mood all day and deep down inside don't even really be feeling like that and so they the sinister so, sinister that's why um I remember it was one time he was like, Cancer is one of the most powerful zodiacs. Yeah, they rule by the moon. Hoodie, like, you know how to manipulate the emotions, like, especially right. like humans, they, they're real emotional creatures. So it's like, 
you know, the, right. the more you try to manipulate that cancer energy, it's like, yo, like you can get away with any any human, bro. <laughs> right. Don't don't let them be no motivational speaker because they ain't come up. They know how to come up light. And don't let them have Mercury and Gemini and be no motivational speaker as a cancer because they come up yeah. with all kind of logical ways to make it make sense to make money off people based off a of feeling that they express that they don't feel at home. They'll probably have a, a a different way that they is at the crib that and have people that's close to them like, hey, people, why are you pandering to people's emotions and stuff? And the cancer yeah. would justify. They'd be like, man, because there's people in the world that feel like this, and this is how I make money, so I'm going to do that every day. I, I, I'm going to express that mood and feeling, but and then go somewhere with their friends and laugh like, yeah, you know, I make a lot of money from this shit. <laughs> you know, I feel like cancer, they sinister as hell. They don't even feel that way that everybody in the crowd thinking they was feeling when they was expressing that bullshit. Then when they yeah. go backstage, you'd be like, shit, man, I'm trying to get my back rub or some shit. They be sex addicts. They sex addicts like damn Leos and Libras. Real shit. These motherfuckers crazy. And and that's what that's what uh that's what leads on to the next thing. Like with the zodiac signs, like half of these mofos don't even shine, bro. Like, you know how you be explaining it, like how Aries act towards cancer sometimes it don't even be like that with majority you go outside and somebody might act like a pisces but they really like a taurus but the way they do it is just like they 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 don't even be shining like that you know, you know how it is. Like, yeah you're right you know what that's another thing i experienced too i'm glad you said that one thing when we go beyond the zodiac sign and the elements when you get past that because you can see that you start to be aware of the planet ruler energies that share things that the exactly. the average person that's just in elements probably wouldn't see. So you will start to see that Venus rulers and exaltation. Sometimes mm -hmm. they you could get confused on which is which. Sometimes you could be around a Pisces. You might think it's a Libra or sometimes yeah. and things of that nature. And sometimes like a Libra, you might think it's a Taurus sometimes. And sometimes it's Word. like that with the Capricorn, Aries and a Scorpio. Sometimes you might be around a Capricorn. They may be a Scorpio. Sometimes you might be around an uh, uh, a Aries. The person might be a Capricorn. You know what I'm saying? And things of that nature. Sometimes it play out like that. I've seen that. For real. And it's like, it's like, yo, like, that's why I was talking with my dad early. Even with what you said, it's like how the shadow government got people in certain mind states. And it's like, damn, bro, like, even the shadow, they don't be shining like that. They, they trying to be like it. Like, when you say how, you know, it's either you're it or you ain't, and you trying to come like something. Instead of being it, so it's like you not being the shine, bro. And these they got people messed up, you know. Especially like leading with that, it's like, um, did you hear about the fresh and fit? Um, earlier the situation, they gonna nah, move, um, they're gonna move from Rumble they, from YouTube to Rumble because um, after they've been on Rumble, yeah, yeah, they on Rumble, but like, oh, but they put you. You mean that they fully about to go over there and just dislo just dislocate from YouTube? Yeah, yeah, type shit. They're gonna post on YouTube, but like they turn off their super chat for some reason. And yeah. Oh uh, yeah, you, they probably have certain talking points that got transmuted through the transcripts because you know YouTube shot the government created transcripts now. Probably yeah. had a few tr few trickery words that the government don't like in there, and then got YouTube being a filtering system with their compromises and had to de had to demonetize them whether it makes sense or not. Uh, everybody pretty much get ready to do that though, like just get ready to get the rumble or kick. Or, yeah. or Twitch or some shit like that because YouTube is too compromised right now because we made it too lit. So the, the community is too big. So so many checks being cut, YouTube be doing shit that they don't even really necessarily have to, but it's through the little through the litigations of the terms of the agreements that they're accepting by being puppets right now and being compromised because the government and voting season and shit like that. So yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a sticky game. That's that's it's what a they real sticky game right, right now. Yeah, they ha and to add on, they 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 were saying how they gotta leave from Miami too, cause it was certain like mofos that ain't want them there no more in that building, and they they gonna move somewhere else. I'm just like, yo, it's crazy how they saying like they've been saving lives, and then they gotta deal with all this stuff. Even how they do it with you and like lagging out the uh the audio sometimes and shit, like like shit, like stuff like that, man. It's just. Yeah, we all got to come together. And, and shout out to them. They've been they've been reaching out to a lot of individuals and stuff. Yeah. Having a, I, I can't say that we all need to come together. People actually practicing it. I'm just isolated, but I mean it's all good. I can handle it. I'm Uriel, yeah, and that's true. And just like the uh the the um August, which is eight, 
and then 23rd, which is going to be the Mercury retrograde. So it's August 23rd, uh, yeah. 2023. And that comes to the tarot cards, the high priestess and the judge card and things of that nature. So yeah. they're going to try to make us judge something uh, or, or make us not judge something that should be high value, like a high priestess and stuff. And they're going to do it through the earth element. The earth element, which is the two and the 20 Taurus energy, which is our stability, security, support, safety and shelter. So this is one of the witchcraft that they even use it with the uh, with the fire that they just did over there in Hawaii and things of that nature. They, they, they be the ones who be doing these California wildfires and shit. And that's yep. what they did over there in Hawaii. So that's one of the earth element shelter. Then mm -hmm. they're going to deal with our money. Make something happen with the stability, security, support, safety, and then do it through the filtering systems of the tarot card and the gematria and uh, numerology that I broke down on the other channel with uh, get prepared for the Mercury retrograde. So all this is leading up to that, to have us something to react or respond to so they could use one of their puppets to be like, you'll only be saved through me. And then we go all vote again type shit. Man, it's a psyop. Like, like, like how we was all, we always be knowing like it's a psyop, bro. Like even. They don't know how to do nothing else. It, it, it no further than that, man. All it, the way to the point that the force energy be used in small percentage levels in their psyop, like so, explosions, nine eleven. Mm -hmm. That their their energy only work based on us believing it and force. And then they the, yeah. the more craftier they get, they don't have to use force as much. Like hang us upside down on trees and martial law. They can create reverse psychology. But every now a group of people wake up and wake other individuals up. Yeah, they still have to practice a little bit of percentage level of force. And, and it still be mixed in with more percentage level of reverse psychology. So Maybe. that's how we can have 9-11 and argue amongst each other that it has something to do with religion and Islam, not knowing that these are practices that people constructed itself and then made us build their airplanes to even be in a mental fart cloud to practice some operative and crash and kill each other anyway in the first place. So it's all kind of, yeah, it's PSYOP. This is big old PSYOP. Jesus. But, you know, it, it's like you always say, man, they magic barely work. It only Go ahead, I can hear you. I just gotta use the bathroom real quick. I can hear you. All right, bet, bet, bet. But yeah, it's cause it's cause like people, it's our energy that give us like that give them the energy to like keep running. So it's like the more they keep we keep like believing in their stuff when we know everything's a lie, it's just like you know, they, they just like keep getting one up every time, yo. So right. you know, this is why I, I stop even watching the news, yo. I, I just be like, yo, that, that joint ain't real when I watch it. I'd be like, nah, it's not real. And if it is, then shit, man. I wonder how, like, they manifested that in the first place. Like, you know? Right. Yeah, witchcraft. Witchcraft. Yeah, okay. Yeah, man. We got crafty. They got real crafty and shit like that. So they updated from Bibles and Medea shows telling mm -hmm. everybody, come on down, like the Jeopardy. And go downtown to Egypt and get this Medea show. And that used to be the first version of the news channel. Then they got a little bit more crafty with the technology. Once they got more Western Hemisphere, take the miner minerals from the Eastern continents, made other mutts, indigenous master builders and slaves. And then now we got actually ink and stuff like that. So they updated it to newspapers and shit like that. And read yeah. all about it. It, read all about it. Then it's the menace, big bald head, little cells. Then they exactly. updated it and shit like that because now they went more to the Western Hemisphere and took these metals, made more slaves out of indigenous land. Now we yeah. got good courts, masculine and feminine courts and sockets and now shit. Now we got black and gray TVs. Now, boom, then that rocked us to sleep and things of that nature. And then now, boom, now we got the little Wi-Fi season online and shit and, and motherfucker the internet and shit. Now this is the updated version of the same goddamn shit. It's all a goddamn movie show, though. The world stage. It's I all swear. a movie. We all and we all plan out small versions of their character. Bro, I swear. I wonder who whose energies they be manipulating for this epic, crafty situation and circumstances, yo. It's like I already know, but it's like I was talking to this uh, one of my uh, homeboys earlier. I, I consider him Soul Group. I was like, yo. Like, there's nothing wrong with them updating, like, these the AI and Wi-Fi and all this stuff, but it's just controlled by some beep-ass niggas, you know? So, yeah. I, 
Like, yeah, like, man. They, Even they right now, that's why That's why I'm glad I didn't pick because the Masons suck right now when it comes to the, the people that's around our age that run the world with the oral tradition. They don't know what to do with it. They all lost in this shit that they pushing right now. That's why I'm glad I ain't pay attention or, or click on any of these goddamn ninja, new Ninja Turtle movie videos and shit like that. Yeah. Just, just to know goddamn Master Splinter or goddamn trans now. Yeah, transmission. I'm like, damn. Now, I knew they was getting ready to ruin my childhood again. Damn, let's leave the night even alone. The they can't wait to ruin something. God damn. Yeah, for real, man. The end of the goddamn movie. Goddamn Master Splinter raising all the goddamn indigenous teenage mutant into snapping turtle land and shit now. And he's a trans in this movie. A transmission. Lord Jesus Christ. They didn't fuck shit up. God all right, damn. All right. <laughs> hey, hey. Shit. Yo, you know what? That that even add on to that, like with the whole industry with the music religion. That's why it's like, like when you said you just a loner, like I I respect that because it's like I'm just like yo, like even with the homegirl last one, she was talking about rejection. I'm just like yo, rejection is valid because I I seen this post today, right? Is this dude? He's a H and R assistant for like um Atlantic Records and uh and Rock Nation, and then he posted a screenshot in the story. He was like, yo, would you ever work with a snitch? And he was talking to this dude. He was like, oh, I seen your paperwork. You're a rat. Uh, uh, so I'm not working with you. And then I'm like, yo. And then he asked that question. I'm like, it, it depends on what he did, though. Like, I mean, what, what was the situation? He was, And then he texted me back. He was like, goodbye. And I'm like, yo, so if niggas run up in your grandma's stuff and your grandma called 911, you like you were guilty by association. So I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? In that in that aspect. But, but then it was like, I, I figured out later on, I'm like, okay, it's probably some like, some wicked shit going on. That's why they don't want no snitches. I'm like, it all makes sense. Like, that's why I'm just like, on like, if you ain't my like soul family, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not, I'm not bothering with that. You know what I'm saying? World and stuff like that, man. So it's like, sure. bro, stuff, man. And uh, yeah, man. Yo, the last thing I wanted to ask. I mean, that nigga was checking you out. That nigga was checking your temperature. But yeah, go ahead though. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um. Word, man. The last thing I wanted to say was about the cognitive dissonance. Like, you know, sometimes I like when I'm in my like real life, it's just like I like today I feel like yo, I just need to keep my awareness on because it's like before it's like cognitive dissonance and being unaware it is not good, like especially in these times, yo. It's like you gotta be aware all the time, yo. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's a wicked game, man. But it was like my dad was saying earlier, just stay with God, yo, and for the mission, because Satan know how to, you know, trick motherfuckers easy. So it's like yeah, yeah. Satan, Satan is your your solar plexus being in the, the opposite position. So anytime you get off track for God, is you didn't got on track for something on yourself. So you're talking to Satan at the moment. Yeah, the devil is a tricky thing. They're a lot of you. Your, your, your thoughts, your feelings, your desires are a lot. They're a lot of you. Oh shit. Yo, I don't know what that all that was. Anybody got to hear anyway, though. But yeah, yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? So even every time y'all hear somebody say Satan a lot of you, the devil a lot of you and stuff like that, don't think that the Jews who is conveying that message is actually saying that's something outside of you. Unless you want to point at the sun and them making an allegory of that being a dragon. They made a lot of allegories of that. Helios, a bird, a dragon, a flame, a, a vision, a thought. It is all different different Jews and Masons perspective of the same thing when they was building a old little one world theology government. But when you understand what they point to as below, it's just talking about your desires. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when, when Satan start talking to you or the devil start talking to you, right? Yeah. That's just your Venus chakra start talking to you. And as a spirit, you and your Venus chakra, you didn't love something too much and it made love negative. So now it got voices now. It's, it's, it's giving you ideas and feelings of how to take, how to bend in and make your actions do something and stuff like that. And you doing stuff for love or insecure, all that stuff. Yeah, the Satan, a lot of you, the devil, a lot of you. You just got to know what it is. It's your flunked out ass desires. Don't ever forget that. It's inside of you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? That little hunger, little. Hungry hippos inside of you and shit like that, trying to eat up everything inside of you and shit until you deteriorate in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Real shit that does that. Cause as a spirit, once you create an awareness, that's the devil. That's that that you shouldn't have created nothing. You fail. You know what I'm saying? So once you created a mind, 
you create an image for your spirit, the imageless thing. Your spirit is not corporeal. When you create a form to be trapped in, you created a devil. And that mind bent in on itself and became your hell, the body, the world we in, the, in your body and things of that nature. So you're a spirit in your hell right now. You fail. You fail so, so low and separate and outer and distant from, from all possibilities, from God and things of that nature. Shit moving real slow down here. So when, when you look at like movies, they're made from men and their brains. So if you understand comprehension you and look at Jesuit intellect, Jewish literature, Masonic art, and put that together, you know, Masonic art is based on Jewish literature and Jesuit intellect lets you interpret it. So, you know, fire represents desire. Beasts represent what you desire, the object you desire. So it's an allegory of a beastly nature. So in Jewish literature, they say you could be in hellfire based on Venus, sulfur. You being lost and how you make your sulfur too much, which is Venus, the alchemy of Venus externally and things of that nature. So you manifest the material out of love in this world that can make you burn in a hell, experiencing the failures of life and stuff like that. Right. So. um. Ooh, I had another motherfucking point. So, for the most part, when you in that energy, hold on. You being lost and how you make your you desire. So, it's an allegory of a beastly nature. So, a Jewish Yeah. So, uh, and, and so, it's a, so, if you understand Jesuit intellect, you understand through the Latin and Greek and Hebrew and Shemitic and things that the fire represents the desire that the Masonic art is drawn based on the Jewish literature. So when they draw fire at an actual beast and men and women there, right, you know that they got that, you know, the Masonic art got that from Jewish literature, men and women being in hellfire, sulfur, Venus, love energy. And if you understand Jewish intellect, you will, you will know what you're looking at with that Masonic art based on Jewish literature, you know, as a representation of man, your thought, the woman, your feeling, being lost in the desire, the fire based on the love for that thing that you lost in the beast that's in that fire right so when you understand it from that aspect and you know that these are the individuals who built the world anytime you watch a vampire movie a movie about hell people being in hell a movie about things going wrong and things of that nature it's simply an allegory to them built building the world and you clocking in at your job or you clocking in at doing whatever you think you're doing in world in this world for survival mode so when you're at a concert having a good time dancing, this is their concept of a movie of people being in hell, in a hellfire, people enjoying a desire. And they make the whole world built off signs and symbols that represent your root chakra. And if you a spirit that cater to those root chakra characteristics, then you're only going to be attracted to the signs and symbols externally and logos and jobs that they made from that being the psychological ones. And then for the most part, when you give your social security number as a representation to show that you're working in these things, this you build in their world, building their business, entertainment, education, religion, and politics for the survival of the witchcraft that they put you in to feel like, you're wrong if you don't do these things and you'll be looked at like you're a dope in the world. And that's how they've been running the world for the past 4,000 years and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Purely on the basis of y'all making their magical thinking only work because y'all believe it. And every now and then they have to use force to make you believe it and create witchcraft to make you believe it based on the force for the people that come after the people they use force with not to do it again. That's why you hear about dinosaurs being wrapped away by asteroids and humanity being washed away by floods. But if a human wrote it, that's why the story is always about somebody talking about something they what they didn't experience in that same time. It's about them making up an example of what wiped away other people. And then when you make up the description of the story, the reason why they got wiped away is because they wasn't doing something because of a god. But then if you describe the God, you know, as a generative principle, that as it was a law that people was living up under to come together. And we know humans make that. So anytime you go against the government and their concept is the concept of the flood or dinosaurs being destroyed and things of that nature. And they're making an allegory story to make you believe it so they don't have to hang you upside down or actually do that physically. You could do that to yourself in your mind, all the way to the point that you identify with these generational curses so much, you could be the low-hanging fruit, poor, and, bl and blame yourself and this God you believe in. That's how deep they got you. And I love all y'all from the bottom of my heart. Y'all protect yourselves, goddammit, in the spiritual realm. He, he don't go further than that. Don't go further than that.